Welcome to Six Sides of Gaming. Just kidding. Just kidding. That's Welcome to Six Sides of Gaming. You're actually no taller than Orla today. Oh wait, that's because I brought Sucker. it down because I decided to take a page out of Orla's book. And be short, because it's great. When I was playing uh, Eke, because uh, Eke is a, a two and a half foot tall fox. You're... okay. Based <laughs> off of this six foot tall fox. Ring, ding, 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 ding. What does the You know, I was watching say? the Family Feud. You ever watch Family Feud? No. Mm. I was watching the Family Feud and they had a question. <laughs> no. They oh. had a question on there that reminded me of the and the question was, if your significant other was a fox, what animal would you not want them to be? A what? If your significant <laughs> other is was a, a fox. fox. The pun is there, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I just checked. What <laughs> animal would you not want them to be? Them to be or you to be? I, I disagree with some of the. I, this is just how out of date and southern, no offense, old school mentality Family Feud was. What were because the answers? Hippo. <laughs> oh my god! That was Specs third on the list. Uh, Pig was number one. Hang on, guys, hang on. Uh, Spec is saying there's a problem with sound. Uh, chat, can you just let me know Damn, if people are good hearing sound? Too. I, I, I have so many questions about Family Feud. I've never watched it. I've watched some clips of it, but like I've never watched an episode. Oh, it's it's horrible. Family Feud Canada is inclusive. It's very good. Family Feud, although they did have Who RuPaul have... versus Queer Eye. Oh dear. Uh, uh, and that was a really good show. That was a really good one. How, but, how would you not want your significant other or whoever to be a hippo? Because like that is a murder machine. But oh, so I'm saying, but, but they said, yeah. so just to catch up for those who had some sound issues before, what I was saying was, there we go, is if in the fa in Family Feud last night, the question was, if your significant other was a fox, and the pun is the proverbial like hawk one, right? Fox. What animal would you not want them to be? It's funny, because the first thing I thought of was like, snake. Oh, I don't want my significant other to be a snake, you know? Why not? They give good hugs. <laughs> and they can slither places and do yeah. things with their tongue. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole other version of hentai. Nobody, well, I'm sure lots of people have explored yeah. it. The yeah. internet is a thing. But yeah, like, like I don't know, it was weird. Some of the animals that came up. Uh, I thought, Hippo, you pig, said? Pig was number one. Hippo was another, which I disagree with. I also disagree with that one. We were just talking about that. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm done playing with sound and cameras and everything. All right. Are you so. actually for sure? So is it time for us to play D and D now? Lies. Uh, well, that depends on Brody. He seems like he's still doing stuff. Shit. I am always doing D &D? stuff. You know what I like about Fuck, this? I'm in the wrong place. I'm not going to stress <laughs> about which direction Brody is facing tonight because he has a cute little mic in front of his mouth. That's right. Yeah. Sweet freaking tech uh, setup over there. And from what I can tell, in my ears at least, it sounds pretty good. Testing, I am testing. I am decompressing today, everybody. I had a uh, I had a domestic <laughs> next <laughs> to my to my cafe today that's bothering me. A domestic. There is a, a vintage clothing store that moved in beside us, but it's not vintage clothing. It's 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 just whatever whatever the uh, the value villages of off that they've been able to find and value up like mark up like four hundred percent. And uh, and and I have no problem with hipsters or anything, but these people were coming in. I'm a hipster. And you know, here's the thing: everyone's a hipster. <laughs> But we have limited parking spaces, and I gotta warn this out. Limited parking spaces, and these guys, you know, all of these people coming from out of town in a COVID environment are using all of our parking spaces, and I don't argue it. My staff's like, what should I do? I'm like, just let them park there. We don't wanna be this community. And today, my lovely neighbor, like, I, I also own like an archery range, and in there there's a costume shop in there, and today my lovely neighbor's in there who are, who are, who are using that space for their, their business. Park the car one slot over, into d dividing into their parking lot territory. And they got hammered on the door and told that they were gonna get their car towed by a bylaw. <laughs> which set off the fucking chain lightning <laughs> of Morari. My I literally sprouted wings, I think, and flew over there and went in there. And I rolled three natural 20s. Oh dear, oh <laughs> And dear. scared the shit out of the guy. And I'm like, number one, you don't go to anyone and do that. Number two, your entire hipster crowd have been parking in my parking lot. And will remain to continue parking in my parking lot because I'm not that guy. But if you try to dare threaten any of my family that you're gonna tell them, you're gonna feel the wrath of Goff. Trust me. <laughs> Goff. The wrath of Goff. Oh my I God. Like the Tom bomb Next earlier. Week Tom's <laughs> Tom bomb went up. And you know what? It's the problem is that it's, I call it it's the Italian to me, but it's like I'm very like I give you anything you need. But the moment you entitling, entitlingly throw it back in anyone's face or hurt anybody that I care about, holy shit! Will I drop the hammer? And today, I'm still reeling from it, obviously. I was gonna say, I need to go get you an ice pack. You're gonna overheat here, I am honey. overheating. You just feel that sweat? It's yeah, it is. It's <laughs> lovely. What are you planning on ranting about next week? 
<laughs> Nothing. I we can come it. up with lots of things. No, I can bring it up. Don't worry. Yeah. Welcome to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. <laughs> I am the Mad Mage today. <laughs> oh, my God. It is... Uh, Jesus. Speaking of, Magic the Gathering is coming oh, no. out with Forgotten Realms. Really? And they have a card called Dungeon of the Mad Mage in it. And it is the silliest magic card I've ever seen. It's one of those dungeons you have to go through multiple rooms. It's a weird magic Gee, card, sound but it's so silly. Anyway. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Brody. But it's a magic card. Have I, I given you enough time? I think so. Because I can rant. I can keep ranting if Mine you want. Is, uh, Adrian. I do not mean to delay anybody any further. Say? Mine says aura. But I am, so that's how it's going to go. I that's will me. tweak that. You're, you're below me, Orla. No, yes, but mine oh, says yeah, aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Does that mean I can change? Oh, your you. That means you have bear noises. I didn't say wrath oh. of goth. I said wrath of goth. My last oh, name is Gothton. Wrath of fix goth. It. Everybody, settle down. What I just, <laughs> I just need bear noises. That's all I, all I want in life. Oh, do I get my wings? I don't know. Did you? Bear noises. Yeah, you, you, you always had bear noises. You're fine. Lightning. Welcome to oh. Six Sides of Screwing Around. <laughs> that's cool. You have sound effects on your board. That's because I'm a whiny bitch. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and because Adrian puts up with it. So, Adrian, can we get sound effects on our board nope. tomorrow as well? No. <laughs> on the bright side, True Talk today was absolutely stunning. Great viewership. Brand new faces from all over, especially Pennsylvania represent. And uh, let's move it on over to the ever so softy. Yeah, you're not going to be saying that in a bit. Okay, so <laughs> welcome I'm back down. to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Thank you very much for your patience. I just had a couple little ends to tie up there. And having done so, I will just give a quick recap of where we ended off. That's um, good, because Orla knows nothing. Yeah, uh, on that note, we'll bring you back in shortly. Thank so, God. <laughs> um, in a rather unexpected twist, uh, as the party was kind of recuperating after the Battle of Trencia, uh, there was a... Oh, no, sorry. My mistake. As the party was kind of leading up to the battle with Trenzia, mm. uh, skull. Halister oh, made an appearance is. and uh, whisked Orla away for some secret business that he didn't really Asshole. explain what exactly had gone on. Probably and in the blink of an eye, Orla had disappeared. Uh... Fuck. The party so had guess. continued on past the electrified copper door into a laboratory wherein they found what appeared to be a flesh golem performing very crude Sweet. surgery on uh, a hapless halfling who had been captured and strapped to a table. Thinking oh quickly, the party was able to liberate <laughs> the halfling from his precarious <laughs> situation, and uh, they managed to, after a brief scuffle, uh, come out on top and procure a uh, alchemical reagent for Ninu back in the bazaar, who had requested that you procure Trenzia's skull. After that little battle, um, you are fairly certain that you have the item in question in your possession. And as you were exploring the environs further, you traveled a bit further south from this laboratory and found a weird wall that was constructed haphazardly out of wood and uh, various debris from Don't around the dungeon, as far as you could tell. But upon further inspection, you could see that there were remains in the wall. There were some Ooh. bones, there were some broken pieces of armor and stuff like that. Like and anime. as you were exploring this area, you began to get these unsettling... Uh, thoughts creeping into your mind of embarrassing and painful moments in your life and this preceded an attack by four creatures called Nothix which are bipedal humanoids that have a single huge eye ah. in their heads and then a big mouth uh, they were pretty horrifying but you managed to defeat the creatures that was a good fight Oh, we did fun. good. Yeah. Jeez, we, we've I, done good, y'all. Wish yes. I had the internet to watch it. <laughs> it, was a very good fight. it was a very good fight. I believe. I believe. Uh, I got super lucky last week, I which, has, which, in, which yeah. hasn't ended all weekend. We were rolling twenties again. Well, don't yeah. say. Now we're jinxed. We're all gonna roll nat once the entire show tonight. You so guys, before we proceed 20. too much further, I am going to go ahead and cash in my. 10 inspiration. God damn it! To trigger a poll Shit. for chat. This is great. <laughs> um. Yeah. It may not get implemented immediately, but I will do my best to implement your decision by the end of this session. 
And I'm going to go ahead and drop my inspiration down to zero. Here it comes, the big vote. And Adrian will have that poll put up in chat momentarily if it is not already there. So, as you are collecting your thoughts and kind of fighting back the last vestiges of that uh, overwhelming embarrassment and that sense of futility you felt during that battle, uh, there's a loud popping noise. And to the west of where this battle had just occurred, you see Orla laying on the ground. Oh, damn. Do I get to know what happened? You have no recollection of what happened. Motherfuck. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Should we introduce ourselves? We have uh, some new people in Uh, chat. Yeah, sure. Uh, We do have a bunch of new people in chat, and there are going to be a few lineup changes in the first hour or so. Yeah, lineup changes. It's like the hockey game tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a little little bit of a shuffle here. Uh, As you'll notice, Gran is not with us right now. Uh, She will be within an hour or so, I should believe. And up until that point... Uh, Aura has very graciously agreed to Aura kind of fill in the and spot. Aura. Yeah. I was, I was you're about a dick. To I was just about to We were lucky because we exchanged one little person with a loud mouth for another little person with a loud mouth, but now yeah. they're both here together. And we got a big person with a loud mouth. Oh, what I the have the fuck loudest of mouth. Thought? Wow. Poor Zephyrus. And then Zephyrus is stuck here like, <laughs> I fucking hate these us. people. <laughs> stuck in the middle oh with God. you. Because I'm stuck in the middle. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm lying on the ground. Unconscious, I guess. My name is Aura Destiny. I am a halfling wizard. Um, I actually come from the circus where I perform um, fortune telling. Sweet. Um, and I've learned in life that people don't want to hear their real fortune. They'd rather mm-hmm. hear their fake fortune. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. often tell people what they would like to hear versus what is actually real. Solid answer. Um, I play Zephyrus Indra, a way of the shadow monk. Uh, and Erdenassi. Uh I am Angela, and I play Orla, and we're not really that different, except that Orla's only like three feet tall, and I'm five feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> but Orla, Orla's a gnome druid, um, circle of the moon, and, oh yeah, where's your person? Where's your mini? Oh, you you need a mute button. Over there. Uh, to and go. Uh, what else do I do? I mostly just fuck shit up. And I swear a lot. He's on the he's on the back shelf. Sorry, I'll grab him in a minute. And I'm Tommy. I'm playing Moreri Laura Kalen. He's a flying blue skinned elf from Legacy of Mana Universe. Doesn't belong in the Forgotten Realms universe, but we're playing him out because it's kind of funsies. And and Brody's a a jolly good fellow that allowed me to play a flying elf to deal with that shenanigans, which has been pretty good so far. But you've been so far so good. You've been keeping me grounded. Trying. So. Sure will. <laughs> Shit. That was bar- I better roll a d4. Brutal. Who the hell turned the puns off? I'm gonna guess bad. <laughs> Can I roll the d4? I've been yeah, waiting so I get long d- for this. If you'd let me get a word in edgewise, Mustache Craft, subscribe. As much as I Thank love Mustache kindly. Craft, you've costed me one d4 psychic damage. <laughs> so here's what happens. When you subscribe to the channel, and whenever someone subscribes, the puns go on or off based on even or odd pun subscriptions. If the puns are off, and anybody makes a pun, it's a D4 psychic damage. If puns are on, fair game. I made a pun, because I thought puns were on, and I didn't even hear or see that it had changed. <laughs> but I still love you, Mustache Craft, because I think you've subscribed for what, eight months now, six months? Uh, Something months. Those are Some two very months. different numbers. Six how, months. Much, how much damage do I take? Three. Yeah. Sucker. Well done. <laughs> you see Moreri's nose begin to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> we're less familiar. Oh. TK, thanks for turning those back on after. <laughs> Excellente, TK. Good timing. A watch plus. that like a hawk. Okay. Damn it. So. All right. So as I mentioned. So we just finished the fight, right? Actually, before you go any further, I just want to say that the uh, the p- winning poll option was unicorns. Oh. Uh, chat wants unicorns. <laughs> I do. I do I'm actually. Not sure what that I means. know who did that. There's a and lot I, of there's a lot of hate and rage over the no unicorns. Do have the poll running, and I will give you the correct Excellent. answer. But everyone okay. in chat said unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to make up a unicorns when we just I'm get stampeded to. by a yep, absolutely. shitload of unicorns. <laughs> I think I'm working on it. It's if he gets works. like a, a master amount of maybe join the Calgary Stampede. Oh fuck, that's funny. We'll call Wait, the Calgary. You guys see what happens when I get twenty inspiration. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. After the battle, you have a few moments to collect yourself. 
and with a loud popping noise, you see, yeah, the prone form of Orla operate about 30 feet to your west. Just on the ground? Yep. Orla! Yeah. She's here. Uh, 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 Racing! <laughs> yeah. She wins. <laughs> they win. Yeah. All right, so I get up there and... Yeah. I get in, check. Orla, she, she, just she left, Orla? You're Orla? just unaware of how you wound up here. Last you remember, you were in a brightly lit room with a hammock. Moreri is like squishing her nose and like, are you all right? And I also had okay? a lot of damage from the last, from being beating up those things in the tub. So are you like, alive? I, Jesus. Are you alive? Are you okay? You actually find that all of your wounds are healed. Fuck yeah, I love that guy. Halister's the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so dead. <laughs> Uh, where? Where did you go? I you disappeared on us. Did I? Where are we? What happened to that freaking electric door? Where's Gran? Where's the hammocks? <laughs> <laughs> what about those Gran's things that were in the tub? Kind of where am I? Standing there. Gran is actually kind of keeping a perimeter on the area. Gran's probably sure. knitting a sock now, like ignoring everything. He's just keeping an eye out. <laughs> uh, I, was I gone? Yes. Yes. You disappeared. I did? After I can't do that. Hester Does Orla actually take the lint off of Morari's jacket? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you, Orla. <laughs> I missed you too, Morari. It was uh, awfully quiet in this dungeon without you. I don't remember being gone. Where are we? Uh, we are in the dungeon of the Mad Mage. We made it. Oh my God! I'm gonna stab we, you we, already. We made it a few rooms ahead. Did yeah, you guys get past it. the door? That that like buzzy yes. electric door? No, we literally went. <laughs> What, a couple rooms? We're literally yeah. 30 feet from us. <laughs> I mean, wow. we, got the, we, got, we went there down a 100 foot hallway. hallway. <laughs> it was a hundred foot yeah, hallway. you guys had no map. Oh, you yeah. you with the better map skills. I don't still don't know why you guys let me be the map maker. Because that's Where better. is your map? I don't fucking know. This kitchen is gone. She, she had this gigantic map that was far too wieldy to use. And it is gone. It and was it under the table, and all you did was make bad innuendo about me having to go under the table to keep drawing my map. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> there are several reasons why the map got kiboshed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's amazing. Carrying on. Yes. I still don't know where the fuck we are and what's going on, and why is that wall made out of weird shit? Um, there's also like eye guck everywhere and dead, dead eye things. Uh, yeah. Or lose. Yeah. Th there's a few slaughtered humanoid forms around. I mean, I have lots of questions. Do you want me to list off everything I see that's not the copper door? It's true. <laughs> well, the copper door we're through already. Yeah, how did you do that without blowing up? It, I mean, we opened it. For fuck's sakes, it was electrified. It wasn't. We, they used a stick, a oh. piece of wood to... I was just touched it, open. but that's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, so, 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 what's, what's going on, guys? Where are we going? We'll find out in a minute. Where are we going? Yes. Where are we going? What are our options Chat has from chosen here? well. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, All right. No. So, uh, actually, the room that you find yourself in appears to be... Now, this is just to the west of where you had that battle. As I mentioned last time, there were small chambers that had wooden partitions to the north and south of a small corridor that uh, you have passed through to get to Orla. We've got the skull. Oh, wow, that is a very shiny skull. Can I see that? So that is three of four? How many things do we have left to complete? Uh, that was two out of three. Two out of three. The yes. third one is the ore. Yes. Yeah, the we ores. gotta find the ore. Yes. We found the ore, La. And now uh, we know how to find the ore. Puns are on. You don't take any more psychic damage for making I don't take any more ready. psychic damage, that's correct. Um, <laughs> is there anything cool about the skull besides the fact that it's like a disco skull? Um, you feel <laughs> energy oh, within it. Um, you can't really define what that energy actually entails. Like I it lick it. Well, I'm going to have you roll a constitution safe. Holy shit. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. That was awesome. So that would be a really Wanna solid. Want to say this? going to say this. That'd be a really solid seven. <laughs> Nothing happens. Let's go. Damn it. I got so excited. <laughs> she has Moreri's hand juice on it. Back my skull. All right. Yeah. So th no, there's no. Right. No Wait. effect from licking it. It just tastes like There's a combat like a... down the hallway. Oh, yes. You heard fighting. I'll, I'll move my way toward it and try and listen. Go ahead and roll perception for me. That's on the other side of the wall, though, isn't it? Yeah. 21. Um, yeah. You are still on the other side of that wall. Dividing I was. That I climb over. And... You climbed over, and then you did your perception check. Mm. Did we not investigate the other side of that wall first? That's where we were originally, and where you'd heard the I fighting. I just want to hear if the fight's down. coming our way. 
Uh, yeah, the we fight were here. There was still appears there. to be going on, but, but it hasn't moved. So Murray pops his head up over the bone wall and goes, Boy, they're really going at it over there. It's still happening. What? Such so, stamina, mm. such skill. Oh my god. We should learn so, from them. So, Orla, the room that you're in, Incorrect where you appeared, uh, there are low shelves, and underneath each shelf is a small yeah. box that holds what appears to be a set of iron-clad boots and a bucket helm. And there appears to be uh, eight to ten of these cubbies on either side of the hallway. On the other side of the room, to the west, uh, uh -huh. there is a large ornate door that has a very faint blue glow. Ironclad boots, you say? Mm -hmm. And helmets, huh? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a live game of Nimrath. Um, Nimrath! Nimrath! Uh, I don't know, I start poking around, looking at stuff. Any of the boots look my size? Uh... Slightly bigger than your feet, so goblin -sized. Uh, but not quite human-sized. Goblin-sized. Mm, probably uncomfy, though. Uh, can I see up and over? The, can I like climb up and look over the wall to where Mareri's looking? Okay. Uh, so that is a few feet to the east from where you are. You exit the room that I just described with the glowing door and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you head back into the wide chamber with the dead. <laughs> No thicks and the wall. Uh, I'm going to need you to do an acrobatics check for oh me to get over fuck. the wall. Sure, acrobatics. If uh, acrobatics is dex, athletics is strength. Whichever one is higher for you, you can use. Oh, acrobatics is higher. Who knew? 18, nope, 16, 18 altogether. Okay, so you have no problem scaling the wall. Uh, so. When you get to the top of it, you realize it's about three to four feet deep, and then it descends uh, another 15 feet on the other side. Do I see anything? From where you are? No. Uh, you see Morari on the other side of the wall, keenly listening. Oh! Murray, there's a glowing door over here! Oh! Murray, Murray. Oh! Shut the fuck up! There's a glowing door over here! Shh. I think I just heard a stab wound. Oh no. my god. It was a parry, a glowing. dodge. Glowing... Maybe some spell casting. It's fascinating, actually. They fight much more... How do they fight? From what you can tell, you hear a lot of metal against metal. You don't really hear the sounds of spell casting. There's a glowing there. door. <sighs> glowing door. All right, let's go. Okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. So I'll back up and climb over the wall again. And... Okay. <laughs> All right, once you've made it once, I'm not going to make you roll to get over the wall every time. I just thought it'd be funny if you kind of went ass over tea. Kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't make it up and over the yeah. wall. So you, you go back over the wall on the other side. Orla leads you back through the chamber where you fought, past the two side rooms into this other chamber at the end. And you see the same thing Orla did. There's a very ornate iron door with a faint blue glow on it. Eh? Allow yeah. me to inspect. That's good, because I was just going to 14 touch it. on the uh, arcana. You recognize it as an arcane lock spell placed Ooh. on the door. This has been magically protected by some other spellcaster. I don't believe I have the ability to disable it. So I'm not that kind of caster. But it needs to be unlocked with magic. Let me try. Grand comes up oh, and she's going to try and Grand. circumvent the lock. Uh, she can't. Mm -hmm. Grand, I told you. It's magically locked. You say that as though I listen to anything that comes out of your mouth. Also true. Very also accurate. true. Respected. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I touch it with my cursed sword. No response. Sweet. It kind of tinks against the metal door. Tink, tink, tink. Hmm. So we can't open it at all, even just like trying the doorknob, nothing? Uh, no, It. Uh, you haven't really tried to force it or Arcane anything. Arcane lock. Bah. It needs the key. Some key. Yep, or you can circumvent it. With your arcana check, I'll uh, pass on that you can circumvent it with the spell magic, if you have it, or the spell knock. Oh, did I take that? Je ne sais pas. <laughs> Do you have any abilities of that nature? I mean, I don't want to... Uh, yeah, Mr. Wizard. I don't want to knock... I took the tech ...my spell magic. list or anything, but, but it does not have knock in it. spell <laughs> magic. Like a counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> By yeah, the way, no. Orla, this is our halfling friend we picked up while you were gone. Orla? Oh, yeah. Orla. 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 Oh. Say that ten times fast. Oh, no. Orla, Orla. Orla, Orla. You no. have spirits around you. I have pardon? You have spirits around you. She That's has. weird. We don't know that. I'm... I have, I detect I'm a druid. A male spirit. Is that possible? It starts with a letter 
T? T. T. What the fuck is T? T. T. It will come to me. It is okay. Is there anything in your character's background that might. All those notes I don't have written down here? (laughs) Um, Zephyrus, as you hear this conversation going on, you hear shuffling of feet um, in a hurried manner, bypassing the wall on the other side. Shh, shh, shh. Something's coming. What? Something's on the other side. Oh. Where? I'm going to climb up and just kind of try to peek over. Gran was here a second ago, and you don't see her now. Motherfuck. Oh. Gran. Gran? Gran? First Orla, now Gran. D- don't look at me. I didn't <laughs> I even know I could around disappear. Zephyrus's arm. <laughs> Zephyrus, as these two are talking back and forth, you hear a questioning grunt from the other side of the wall. Yeah, I'm climbing up the wall and peeking over. Okay. Trying to be... Sneaky. Unseen. Yeah, trying to be sneaky about it. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth for me. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) That's a one. (laughs) That's a a one. Interesting. Yeah. One. One. Oh, nice. (laughs) So So as you're getting up over, (laughs) as you're getting up over the top of the wall, as you swing your leg up, it gets caught on like a broken (laughs) rib that you didn't see stuck in the wall and there's a loud tearing noise as the leg of your I'm assuming you're wearing trousers of some yeah. kind the trousers you're wearing rip from just above your boot all the way to just up underneath your ass <laughs> so you're going to have disadvantage on acrobatics checks oh I thought you were going to say until you get the repair <laughs> checks disadvantage on acrobatics checks I saw checks. you standing okay. alone <laughs> boy she really split there it huh? appears as though <laughs> Nobody heard the noise, but you see okay. one rather large creature, uh, a steely gray color to its skin, wearing what appears to be plate armor with male uh, parts over the joints. Like you see as it's walking, mm. you can see like male detail at the underarm and at the shoulder and at the neck. Gladiator style. And around the knees where the plates and planes from the leg sections of the plate armor is. Oh, chainmail? It's an enormous... Yeah, yeah, in between the plate. (laughs) And you see the the creature has one (laughs) eye in its skull. It stands about nine and a half, maybe ten feet tall. So it's about as tall as the wall, then. Uh, The wall's about 15. And it's not very close. Um, If you'll remember, the room, when you entered, it kind of dipped around, and then immediately there was a hallway that continued to the east. Mm -hmm. The wall was to the west, and you're up on top of it looking down. To here, and you see uh, that creature followed by four bulky humanoids, Ruh-oh. two of which appear to be kind of orcish it, for the most part. Um, you know, big underbites, exposed fangs on the lower jaw, and two uh, what appear to be hairless humanoids, uh, roughly the same build, but uh, definitely not orcish. And they're following in two ranks behind the large creature with the one eye who's hefting a giant morning star over his shoulder. Clearly, we don't know what she, what Zephyrus is seeing. No. no. I knock on the you door. You guys are talking. I okay. knock on the door. Okay, that's way on the other side, way away from the... That's fine. Yeah, so you knock on. on the door and there's no reply. Motherfuck. Open sesame. <laughs> Sometimes no, it works. It doesn't there's work. a non-zero chance that that would work. <laughs> Zephyrus, what's going on? There, there is a zero. Hallister. <laughs> Hallister. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Hallister. Uh, no, none of that Orla. works. What the okay. fuck? Why would that so, open up a door? Uh, after that confused grunt, or questioning grunt, like they might have heard something, they look quickly. The creature with the one eye takes a quick glance around, doesn't notice you, and continues oh. on its way. They continue in the direction okay. towards the battle that Morari was hearing. Okay. So they were coming from the north? From the north. Okay. They passed through and immediately took off to the east. Okay. I'll climb back How down. How did they not hear our argument? I don't know. That's what I was trying. I was trying to get them to hear something. Yeah. Uh. Being loud. <laughs> <laughs> Their attention suddenly shifts. Uh, okay. So can I, Brody, can I just get a, when he says there's a male presence with the, with the begins with the letter T, I know that in my character backstory, right? Like, I should know. Go it. ahead and roll an insight for me. Because I'll be honest, I don't fucking remember anything. Uh, please go ahead and roll deception. Or... Deception. Yeah, the last what a name, cracker. If, if the syllables are <laughs> remotely Ami, then you know you're... Uh... Uh, nine. I got nothing. Okay. I don't fucking remember anything. Halister is removing memories from my head. 17. Okay. He seems totally on the level, and you're sitting there scouring your memories and looking like... <laughs> 
I know a guy named Toma. Uh, it's just the it's just the loading it? screen symbol. Kind of, yeah, it's like that staggered star that goes around yeah. in a circle. Yeah, that's all it is. Just yeah. loading, loading, and then it's that Petunia. little T Rex not found. Melon. And, okay. and I'll have you go ahead and roll Arcana. <laughs> Can you just trying random words? Now? Melon. Nothing. Uh, Thirteen. Can, can I roll Arcana? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Never mind. I don't want to roll a comma. Okay. <laughs> Actually, um, I get to re. I have. I have edge left. I'm going to use one of my edge and re-roll my. You can tell that Dan runs Shadow Run because we call Sorry. it. Edge. It's inspiration <laughs> here. Inspiration. Edge. Edge inspiration. Edge inspiration. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, you came up with the same conclusion mm. as Morari that useless conclusion. Uh, well, uh, there are such a countless number of things that could possibly be the key to this arcane lock that just kind of guessing words is a very Have inefficient way to go Have you tried kicking down the door? And I'll just try kicking it. <laughs> trying to Mareri kick it knowing, Mareri knowing how magic works, he will proudly sit back and go, <laughs> watch this. Okay, go ahead. I'll have you roll a strength check, please. Strength? Okay. Uh, 14. <laughs> 15? As Zephyrus goes 60 feet that way. As a... (laughs) As the lithe figure of um, Zephyrus comes at a quick run down the short hallway, uh, they run and they get a leaping kick into the air trying to knock down the door, slam into it, and just kind of drop to the ground. (laughs) I go and put on the boots that I found. Murray will will help them up. Um, They appear to have um, iron plates over the toe, Mm -hmm. over the heel, Mm -hmm. and along the tongue of the boot. They're a little heavy. Um, You wouldn't want to wear them in water, but beyond (laughs) that, they appear to be normal boots. And the helmet, like, I'm wearing the mask. It's just too freaking hot. So uh, the helmet just sits on your head. It's a little big Mm -hmm. for you. Um, Hey, guys, how do I look? Scary? Mm -hmm. Huh? 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 You look at it ridiculous, actually. With Th- this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You're welcome, COVID. <laughs> Been there, done that. No. You're right. Uh, I go to the door and go. If my magic isn't mistaking, touch the door and cast reduce on it. Oh, that's cute. It'll stay locked It'll in its current form, but it will no longer be attached to the hinges. That's an interesting. We idea. found out that you can enlarge or reduce magical items. It doesn't affect it, so reduce the door. I've got to go back and watch the last episode. (laughs) I don't like missing episodes of my own TV show. The attempt you make uh, to cast the spell, it's going to burn a slot, and it doesn't take hold. Shit. It seems as though the enchantment of the arcane lock prevents another form of transmutation magic to overtake it. I can ritual cast dispel magic. Please. Let's do that. Can I go and look in the other rooms? I'm getting bored with this door thing because I can't change it. Okay. It's a fucking magic door. Let us magic users take care of it. So, yeah, you guys uh, have fun. I will go as, explore with you. Oh, thanks, Zephyrus. As uh, Aura I'm, and Mareri are focusing on this door. I'm going to immediately use my pearl to restore that spot, slot. <laughs> okay. Out of, out roll of a d20 for me, please. Frustration. Don't roll a 16. No, 9. Okay. All right, so... I choose a number between 1 and 20, and whatever that number is, if that's what he rolls, breaks. All right, so when you go back, you find two rooms extending off very short hallways off the main chamber, and each one has a wooden partition that's just kind of blocking view. And as you go, I'm assuming you're just going to go into the north Uh. one. Yeah, it's the one on your left. When you walk back that way, you walk around the partition and you immediately get assailed by the smell of old waste, humanoid waste. And you notice in the far corner, there is a wooden plank with a hole. Gross. Apparently, this is a change room. That's freaking nasty. Uh, I go look. <laughs> okay, it's very dark. Do you have dark vision? Yeah, I'm a gnome. Okay. Then you know you see a pile of shit. Delightful. All yeah, right, this it is smells terrible. like an old outhouse. 
What's in the pile of shit? I'm not looking. You can look if you want. Use your pretty sword. You don't want to dig your cor- your cursed sword around in it? No, because then I gotta clean it, and I only have one hand. <laughs> uh, nope, nope. So this is there's nothing else interesting in here besides the toilet. Oh, Ola. Yes. Um, can you fix my pants for me? Fix your pants? I kind of ripped them going up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna burn five silver pieces to, to... give her silver pants. <laughs> I'm just coming up with the material cost for the spell. Oh, <laughs> I, thought, I, I, thought, I thought you were gonna actually. She's gonna have like a zipper of like silver <laughs> coins. <laughs> sure. It looks like there's like a clear stitch mark running from the. If that was the case, we'd have to get Missy her, to actually sew her the pants. Yeah, yeah. With the, coin, with there, with a bunch the of stitching appears it. to be done in a fine silver thread. There we go, sick. Now you have jazzy pants, you're welcome. I kind of enjoy the look. Jazzy pants. Jazzy. Thank you, it was inspired by David Bowie. All right, I go and I look in the other room. Uh, it appears to be the same thing. Uh, are there like lockers or anything? Nope, these appear to just be bathrooms. Nasty. All right, well this fucking sucks. Do you guys have any fun with your door yet? I don't know, we're waiting for the spell magic ritual. Okay. okay. The dispel I'm magic to go. This close to going up and over the wall. So third, if it's a third level spell, it automatically ends? Arcane Lock is second level, so it immediately ends the effect, and you see the blue f- glow fade from the door. Well done, there Aura. We I didn't do shit. Aura. Oh, can, you know, we've got to come up with a good differentiation for this. <laughs> a and O. Mm. A, O. No. Okay. Oh. Alpha Omega. Okay. Oh, you're getting closer to stabbing. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Just call me Destiny. I mean, it's my last name. Okay, so as the arcane lock falls, the door actually kind of pitches backwards away from you a bit. Like um, the arcane lock was what was actually holding it in place. There appears to be no closing mechanism on the door itself. And it opens up into a I immediately get behind her. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Okay. So... All right. Uh, as it opens up, uh, it's still dark in this area. Uh, 30 feet away, ahead of you, there is a like a normal-sized double door with a mural painted on it. Um, what appears to be a black pointed tent-shaped mass above a dwarf who appears to be studying a gemstone in his hands. Oh, like that statue, a statue in that of a room dwarf? where we nearly a statue of a dwarf? Sorry. No, it's a mural painted on oh, the door. Oh, mural painted, okay, well, okay. Now, that's 30 feet ahead of you. Uh, 10 feet ahead of you, it opens up into a hallway intersecting your line of sight, running to the north and south. And it appears as though to the north, there appears to be a couple other doors along the hallway. And to the south, about 40 feet away, it extends into a staircase leading up. Hmm. I want to go and inspect the mural. Okay. I'm thinking, remember that room where I nearly died a whole bunch before we got down to the second level? And there was a dwarf. There were quite a few spots you almost <laughs> Right. Died. So right before we got down to the second level, and there was the, the statue of the dwarf holding the things where we found the stairs to go down. Well, these stairs yes. head up. We don't want to go up, do we? No, I don't want to go to the stairs. I want to see if there's something behind the mural. I want to investigate it. Okay. Um, it's painted across a the set of double doors. Yeah. Okay. I open the doors. Or I try to open the doors. Okay. You find that they push open into what appears to be an empty chamber, but it's a, a living chamber of some kind, like a, like a bedroom. Cool. And there is a beautiful fainting couch against the far wall. A fainting couch, uh, a chaise. in case you don't know, a chaise lounge, <laughs> is, uh, it's like a flat surface with a rounded edge. So mm-hmm. you can drape dramatically uh, Yes, it. exactly. It's what uh, <laughs> Victorian sure. folk would, yeah, kind of yeah. like that. Uh, <laughs> beside it, uh, to the north side of the room, is a fireplace with a roaring fire. The room is brightly lit and very elegantly outfitted. The furniture in here is nice. Uh, you see a few paintings on the walls and a couple bookcases along the northeast corner of the room and a small writing desk in the southeast. I go in and start fucking around. As soon as you cross the threshold of the door, you hear a voice saying, 
Well, hello there. Did everybody hear that? You just went in alone. Motherfuck. Uh, hi. You're quite the curious one, aren't you? I'm looking around. Do I see anybody? I Good went to the stairs. For me. Uh-oh. I would have went gone to the the inspect the morale and sit standing outside the room. Seven. What was I rolling? Perception? Perception, yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to the stairs to check the 19. stairs out. Okay. You don't see anything. Motherfuck. Who are you talking to? I, I, did you not hear did somebody? Did you come in here alone? No. Yes, most people don't survive very long on their own down here. I'm just wondering what purpose you might have in my chambers. I didn't know they were occupied. It just looked really nice. I was well, just coming yes, in to I see. Yes, I like to keep myself amongst finery, but that doesn't explain why you're here. Oh, we were just exploring and I found some doors, so I opened them. You can see this person? She... No. no, I can't see shit. You hear the voice. I'm just talking to a voice that you guys can't hear you're either. You're so fucked! <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Murray. Uh, who are you? I don't believe we're quite intimate enough for me to share such details with you. Oh, my name's Orla. Fascinating. Uh, yay? Fascinating. Uh, would you like me to leave? I can leave if I'm interrupting something. That would probably be best. I back out. <laughs> Close the door on your way out, would you? Okay. Click. What was that all about? I don't know, but that room's bitchy. Don't go in there. <laughs> What's going on up the stairs? Uh, it opens up into a <laughs> into a T intersection. If you Explorers. look to the east, it's a narrow hallway that just continues on past the uh, the uh, extent of your dark vision. And if you look to the left, it opens up into what appears to be an old armory, um, but everything in here appears to be rusted and not of any use. More useless rooms down here. I'll have you roll perception for me. But wait. There's more. There's more. <laughs> uh, 18. Or who are you with? Okay. You hear I'm what sounds to be <laughs> no, a sorry, bit of yeah, uh, scuffling at the far end of the room, and you don't really see very well in the darkness um, but you see a shape kind of emerge from behind one of the racks holding rusted suits of armor. And yeah, it doesn't really do anything to move towards you. It looks like a large, oversized, I don't know, it's kind of like a mix between uh, a scorpion and a pill bug. Weird. More has long, kind of moth-like tendrils emerging from its head. It's very low to the ground. It walks on four legs. Hello, little one. Gives this weird, like, <laughs> noise and looks up towards you, and you hear shuffling from further in the room Jeez, behind it. Jeez, it'd be really it. handy if you had a druid right about now. Huh. <laughs> I don't mean to be causing any issues. How about I leave you to your you home? You detect a warm breeze from your sword. Blade song. Okay. Just instantly. <laughs> okay, as you descend into your blade song, you see two more of the creatures emerge. They have these long tendrils emerging from their foreheads, and they look feathered almost. Are you calling for help they yet? come out, and they Fellows! spread out. They look like feathers. <laughs> At your shout, you see the other two behind the one that you first saw kind of move towards you. What's the ceiling like? Uh, ten feet. Fitting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have you roll initiative. Oh, boy. This is just Morari for the time being. Yep. So that room is scary as all uh, get out. FYI. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll that it, one because I do not want a one me. on that. Oh, yeah. Thank God Where's for the weapon of warning. Like or I would uh, not be able to get that AC up the in time. We went up the stairs. Why? Wow. I can't believe that happened. Two ones in a row. This is that week, friends. <laughs> <laughs> you got yours last week. I got my it's 20s. My turn. Now I'm on the ones. Okay, here we go. Uh, 17. Okay. Two ones in a row. That was just for initiative, though. <laughs> it's this week. On off. There you go. That's my life, man. It's either a critical hit or a critical missing. <laughs> Gee, there was one factor here. 
Yeah, that's weird. It's critical hitting. <laughs> it's critical hitting last week, oddly so. I'm sorry, you're back saying to I critical missing again this year. Up in nah, North? it's worth it. It's it's worth it for me to be back just so you can say terrible puns again. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. I see. Um, Mary. Okay. Mary. So these three creatures rush towards you, you and be they kind the, of uh, emerge and spread out around these things, and you note with kind of a sinking feeling in your stomach that as they run by the suits of armor and the weapons and stuff, you see the tendrils on their heads and their tails rub against them, and you see the oxidization on these items become very uh, pronounced, and some of the sections right kind of break and crumble and fall apart. Oh, rust monsters. Metagaming. You don't know that. I don't actually know what they do even as Three a Three psychic damage. No, I don't, I, I don't know what they are even, even okay. though. So, uh, the three creatures approach, and they all kind of surround you. I'm going to need you to do a dexterity saving throw as the tendrils on their head and their tails kind of reach out and start kind of touching various parts of your armor and your... I get advantage on dex saves. Uh, Coot and I just uh, brought everybody, dropped a thousand bits to bring everybody up to five. Coot's Whoa, back! Oh, we got Coot! Nice we got you. Coot! All yeah. right, Spec, you're yeah. in for it now, buddy. Coot's here. Uh, my dex, thanks to the uh, thing, is 23. Okay, so I'm going to need two more well. from you. So oh, yeah. you managed to kind of evade the first Advantage. one. Advantage. Uh, 20. And I rolled a 17. I'll roll on again just in case. Uh, yeah, so 21. So 22, 21, and 20. 20, 21, 22. Given the uh, increase, what's your actual inspiration at now? Uh, I spent I went I spent from three to two. Okay, so you should be. So okay. now whatever whatever uh, Coop Four. brought us up to. You're good. good to see okay. you again, Coop. Tall. So. Okay. Right. As these creatures get close to you, they kind of puff up, and their uh, moth-like appendages kind of. <laughs> Just reach out and kind of brush across you, but you manage to duck out of the way. Um, now, all uh, three are going to attempt to bite you, but your armor class due to your blade song is going to be pretty intense. Not bad. We'll see. All right. We come up with a eight to hit. An eight? Yeah. A 16 <laughs> okay, to hit and no. a seven to hit. I'll put the uh, shield spell away for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So none of them managed to hit you. Right. It's your turn, Mareri. What would you like to do? Uh, now that I know what these things are by seeing some of the things, do I know what they are? Can I make a check? Go ahead and make an History arcana. History or arcana? Um, nature, if you have it. If not, you can use arcana. I got a high... In, I'll use arcana then. Uh, 13. Okay, that's enough to know that you're able to put together that the creature's proximity to the metal seemed to be damaging it. Okay, so the but my, my sword being magical is resistant to this. Resistant, yes, not immune. And your armor, which I believe is studded. Studded leather, yeah. Yep. So the studs might be a little damaged if they hit me. Yeah, so that'll reduce the armor class. If they hit it. me. If they hit you. <laughs> so I will um, resort to AoE. Okay. I will cast... So they're all around me? Yep. Yep. So I will cast Shatter centered on myself. Okay. Now, I don't know if that... I don't think that... It doesn't affect me. No. So, sword burst? What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest sword burst because shatter would affect you. Yeah, all right, sword burst. And based on sword burst, you have to make deck saves. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Uh-oh. 20, 12, and 16. The 20 and the 16 will succeed. Uh, so I believe... Or take. Okay, so you, if you succeed, you take nothing. The one that failed takes five. That was a cantrip. I do get the extra attack. Uh, I will... Actually, I don't care. I will maneuver away from them and run back to these guys. So you may make your three attacks. Yeah. <laughs> 11, 15, 19. Nope. Okay. AC's All 20 right. with Blade Song. So, so you I was just like, definitely do -do -do. kind of sneak out of the way and back up. And I will run down the hall being like, la 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 la. <laughs> that was my blade song. Oh, there you are. Okay, so. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. The creature, <laughs> bad guys. The creature that you injured doesn't appear to be pursuing you. Oh, interesting. That's fine by me. The other two do. 
Okay. Okay. Does he make it back to us? Can we see what's going on uh, here? I guess uh, I'm Zephyrus an extra and Aura. I move 40. Okay. So I'm assuming that you would just back up down the staircase. All right. So Aura and Zephyrus, you see Mareri kind of back down the staircase, and you see two creatures with the same description I just gave appear at the top and scuttle down towards him. I'll have you oh. two roll initiative as well. Orla, you're still up by the other door. You can kind of tell something's going on, so I'll have you roll initiative as well. Sure. Uh, 17. 12 for oh, me. I have a question. When Halister returned me, do I still have all my spell slots used up, or do I get those back too? Oh, fuck. Uh, real quick, Brody, Delay of Games just gave you an inspiration. Oh, thank you kindly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got inspiration on the board again. All yeah. right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all your spell slots are available to you. Sick. Fuck yeah, Halister. I'm all on the you Halister You don't know team. what happened, but apparently you're well rested. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thanks, so. Halister. You're a bro. I only put it there to stop the wind from blowing my hair. Yes, I gathered. <laughs> okay. All right. So what did you come up with for initiative? Me? Yep. Uh, four. <laughs> Aura? Aura. Twelve. Is that the same as before? <laughs> okay, so the creatures run down the stairs after Morari, and they both get what? close. I need you to do two <laughs> deck saves for me, and they're both going to attempt to bite you. A uh, natural 20 on the deck save for the first one. Okay. And then 14 on the second one. Uh, both of those are sufficient. Okay. The attacks came in at an 11 and a 16. Total All right, whiff. so they're trying to bite you, but they can't break through your defensive maneuver. Uh, Mareri and Zephyrus, it's your turn. Uh, you want to go first? Go ahead. All right. Uh, Don't use me- I would know that, right? Uh, yeah, you can They tell. are sufficient at eating uh, and oxidizing. Go ahead and roll a wisdom save for me. Me? Yeah. Uh, six. Okay, so... Mareri's saying something as you're charging up to attack, but you can't really decipher what the information is. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'll go into punch the... The zipper on your pants is going to melt. <laughs> oh my god, that, that, that silver hilarious. thread is going to undo again. All right, so uh, go ahead and roll yeah. an attack. All right. Oh. Didn't you predict us, uh, Didn't you predict us every time I had a fail? That's, that's Zephyrus' new thing. <laughs> Their pants are going to rip open every game. I have to keep finding different and different things to mend her pants with. Uh, 26. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hits. Right. In fact, roll the uh, special dice for Ooh. me. Ooh. Critical. Uh, six and six. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, six sides of gaming. Yeah. Thank you for watching. So, uh, six, six, six. For those of you who have not watched our show before, I use an augmented critical table so that when an attack strikes with a certain degree of success over the creature's armor class and its proficiency bonus and its level, whatever its challenge rating is. Uh, if that threshold is exceeded, the player, or sometimes the player is the recipient of this attack, gets to roll on this table based on the damage type and the target, and different effects can happen. So we got a six on location and a six on severity. And six damage as well. <laughs> Weird. Wow. All right, so let me just <laughs> <laughs> introduce myself. versus I'm a monsters. Man of so you strike it right along the center of the creature's back with a severity of six. Uh, the creature appears to be stunned. Oh. I'll have you roll a d6. Okay. Huh. Wow, another six. Uh, six. Five. five. Oh. Okay, oh. so yeah, the creature is stunned for five rounds. You broke the oh. six turn. Five rounds? Yeah. Right. Wow. I really? will go oh. in for a second attack. All right, so, and you'll have advantage on this attack because it's stunned. Uh, what is the damage from the first attack? Six. six. Okay. You guess. Uh, 25. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can go ahead and roll now those fancy five. numbers again. 25. 25. Oh. Uh, four, five, six. Seven damage that time. Okay. Uh, and two and five. Uh, two on location or severity? Uh, location. Okay, so this time... Because location is the D10, right? Correct. Yeah. Severity is the D12. You strike it in its foreleg, and I'm sorry, what was the severity roll? Five. Rip off a leg. Uh, yeah, you manage to uh, strike the leg with enough force that it seems to kind of cave in at the knee and the creature just kind of falls to the ground prone. 
<laughs> on top of the fact that it's stun prone. <laughs> Let's and go in for yeah. a flurry of blows. Oh okay. my god! <laughs> why can't we all be friends? At the twenty-seven why, again. Why can't okay. we be what the friends? Frick is Royal wrong? Why can't we be friends? You monster! Why can't we? Oh, uh, oh shit! Nine and twelve. Oh god! <laughs> Nine location, twelve severity. Can we just die? Yeah, it's going to. Um. <laughs> so this is only our first fight. We're probably going to meet something meaner and uglier in about half an hour. I just want to know where you kill it. Yeah. Okay, so where as you, you strike it? it, it you strike it right between its four legs, and you feel <laughs> punch it in the Not dick. Shot. <laughs> Not shot. Well, it, it's on the back side of oh. it between its four legs, and you feel it's got an exoskeleton. It doesn't really have. Like a like a skeletal structure underneath, and it just kind of you feel all the pressure that's giving resistance against your strike give out, and your fist pounds into the ground as you see this beige mucus consistency fluid just shoot out from between openings that shouldn't be there <laughs> around its <laughs> legs. What the fuck? You just squish this thing like a bug, just right. slam it into the ground, and as you draw your fist back, there's little pieces of its carapace stuck. With that vicious <laughs> beige go. goo. Uh, with my remaining flurry of blows attack, I will kick out <laughs> at the other creature. What the frick? And I then you get to make another. <laughs> I, I and, the, and, then, and then they start their turn. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to talk to these animals yet, and you're destroying them. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and roll nature for me. Thank you. Uh, you're such a fucking meanie. 19. Uh, Eighteen. Okay, so you know that these are, <laughs> you know that these creatures are called rust monsters. They're basically like land shellfish, kind of like crayfish, except they're not quite as hostile. The only reason they attack is out of hunger. Oh! And they detect ferrous you metal. monster! So, yeah, you're just going around squishing bugs. Can just I cast speak with the animals? Um, 24 on, your turn. on my no! second attack. You, you, you might want to cast Speak with Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll location and severity. Oh, oh my god, god, you people are monsters! Uh, seven and two. Two on severity? Yeah. Uh, okay, so you land a blow to its... I believe that's the abdomen again. So it's right in the middle of its body. You kind of bring your heel down on it. And uh, it doesn't do a lot. You just do an additional D4 of damage. I'm not speaking to Zephyrus for the rest of this game. I'm so <laughs> mad right now. They wouldn't know. But I know! Yeah? And I yelled at her and she hasn't stopped! You haven't yelled yet, it's not yeah. your turn. Uh, Motherfuck! 11 damage, including the d4 in my like, attack. Okay. I believe you're at this phase. <laughs> okay, you yeah, haven't quite, I'm, I'm just like, You haven't quite processed yeah. it yet? It's just in the middle of the. They're hitting them so many times, so fast. It's like. <laughs> it's like watching you kick a puppy Maria, repeatedly. It's your turn. My turn? On yep. fast and so forward. this one is like not doing so good? Uh, it appears fairly injured. I mean, it attacked you. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> Put it out of its misery. Yeah, hell yeah! I'll lightning, oh, I'll lightning lure it. it. <laughs> That's to make a strength save. Okay. Uh, it does not make it with a six. All right, it takes. My God. <laughs> six lightning damage. All right. So you see the creature's legs spasmodically go. <laughs> as it's drawn towards you through the air, and it barely manages to get its feet underneath it as it's drawn right beside you. And I'll hit it with my sword. <laughs> I believe a uh, 22 to hit. Okay, go ahead and roll damage, please. It's taking six, seven. Okay, so as the creature comes towards you, you just switch the grip on your blade <laughs> and bring it down right in between its shoulder blades. And the then creature clean it off immediately because I know it's... Uh, actually, I'm going to have you make a... It's a magical item. Mm, okay. Okay. But I will clean it off immediately so it doesn't stay on. Okay. All right. Is it so dead? It is dead. Well done, my friend. Yes. There is one more, but it is back there. It has decided oh. not to pursue. All right. I just want to quickly point out that... Uh, I just added a new emote for anyone who's listening. Uh, it's called the Brody emote, and it's a unicorn eating a donut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what can I say? No objections here. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm not allowed to have donuts anymore. 
Oh, so good Sundays. Oh, yeah, how yeah, many yeah. do we? How many do I eat on Sundays? It's crazy. I lose count after about twelve. <laughs> All right, so you quickly dispatch the rust monsters that you had come across, and yeah. Well, uh, that room down there. There's rusted equipment. There's n nothing much. What? It? Oil is awfully it's silent. You okay? You guys are monsters! You have no idea! These things are... They only attack out of hunger! They're like the cutest, squishiest, most adorable things ever, and you guys just murdered the shit out of them. They attacked us. No! They only attack when they're hungry! They made their choice. Yeah. Oh my god! You're fired! <laughs> <laughs> they did attack us, Orla. They were trying they're, to hurt they're us. They're hungry. Bugs. They're not bugs. It looked like bugs. They're like shellfish. So yeah, they're the bugs. They're Fish is delicious if prepared bugs. properly. Can we eat this? I, I wouldn't. Beauty. I didn't see her come in. Okay. The more important thing is, is where's Graham? Hey, Morari, guess what? There's a magic room over there and you should go to it. It apparently threatened her, though, when she walked in. Yeah, but everything threatens me. It's fine. You should go see what that room is. I mean, we could. Maybe it'll have some answers. Yeah, you have fun with that. Where's the room? I pointed the mural at the door. It's over okay. there. Go through the door. As you approach the door, you see Gran leaning against the small uh, bit of a hallway that you entered across from the door right. with the mural. Ah, we found her. I've been here the entire time. Good. With people disappearing and reappearing in this dungeon, it's always good to keep tabs on each other. Or less a little angry. While they're distracted, I have a question. Yes. Do I know what these things eat? Uh, they eat ferrous metal, so iron, So like steel. that rusty room that yep. they were just in? It was consuming the metal in the room. Okay, while they're distracted, I go and try and find the other one. That okay. That Morari was attacking. All right. So I sneak away and go to see if I can find the other pill bug. Okay. Now, what are you wearing by way of... Uh, leather. Just leather armor. Okay. And my mask. Okay. And do you have any... And my curse sword. Okay. <laughs> curse sword is magical, so that's not going to be... Okay. And I don't believe copper is considered ferrous, is it? No. Okay. It I... is not. Me I don't know. Physics isn't my mm -hmm. thing. Okay, so... Nope. Uh, all right, so yeah, you go back and you find the creature. It's just kind of walking in between the uh, racks of armor, and it seems to just kind of be chilling out. You see a, a a pile in the corner of what appears to be scraps of pieces of leather and other decorative bits that might have been on pieces of armor or straps used to hold on helmets kind mm -hmm. of pushed into a pile in the corner of the room, and it's kind of resting on that. Okay. I'm going to go up to it and pet it. I haven't seen just, like, animals in I'll so long. I'll have you long. do uh, an animal handling check. Animal handling? What the fuck does that fall under? Nature? Under animal handling. It it's actually a skill, so it's it should be listed. Holy yeah. shit, I have a plus on that. Five. Who knew? Oh, that's really... Okay, we're going to pretend that roll didn't happen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Oh, well, that's <laughs> not Danny. <laughs> so hold that inspiration just to you be friend of us. hell bent on petting this thing. I want to pet the thing. Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a real animal? Haven't you realized you that? Oh, hey! that's 20. <laughs> okay, so as Worth you approach it. the creature, <laughs> it kind of looks towards you, and you notice as you get closer, it has... Okay, so from where the antennae extend off its head, beneath it, it has two big bulbous eyes in sockets set back. And it's right beneath the eyes. It extends a little bit into a bit of a beak, and then it drops off, and it appears to be separated in the center, and its mouth opens like this. It's so As you cute. get close... <laughs> but as you kind of get closer to it, um, you find a piece of leather that looks like it might have been uh, a strap used to hold on a plate 
of mm-hmm. armor, and it's still got a buckle on it. And you go through it, you pull the leather off, and you kind of offer the buckle out to it, and it kind of has these little mandibles beneath its jaw, yeah. and it reaches out, plucks it from your hand, and feeds it into its mouth, and it, you see its mouth ah, kind of chewing it like this. this. Is the best! It's like Noska in the Valley of the Winds. I have a pill bug now. <laughs> uh, okay. I just, I'm just enjoying, they, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pet it and keep feeding it metal. Okay. You wanna come with me to open the door? Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm okay, her. as you approach, yeah. I'll have you uh, roll <laughs> a history check. Historically speaking, I do well, but this time around it's a nine. Okay, so um, I'll have you do the same, Aura, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. But history. Should be good, should be good for you. <laughs> 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 Um, I rolled. I'm going to uh, use one of those edge inspirations or inspirations. Edge inspirations. I'm going to use another one of those. See, see. There we go. Twenty-two. Excellent. So, uh, the dark mass that you see above the dwarf, uh, you recognize as a creature you've seen in several books uh, about subterranean ecology. Ooh. It's a creature that you recognize as a dark mantle. They're predator type creatures that uh, from the underneath, they look black, uh, almost unnaturally so. So they tend to lurk on ceilings and (laughs) stuff like that. And they get their tent-like appearance from dropping down on their foes and surrounding them. And you know that even though it looks dark, they have these retractable teeth that pop out and they kind of grind their victims. And it looks as though this dark mantle is getting the jump on a dwarf who's inspecting a gemstone on his palms. so lucky I didn't die. So I will warn these guys about what I see. Do you think that's what Orla was talking about in the room? And they came Are they intelligent? I don't know off the top of my head, to be totally honest. However, due to the magic of the internet, <laughs> I'll be able to tell you momentarily. My guess is no. <laughs> Sarah, I have a pet pill bug now. They are not. They are animalistic predators. No, I don't think that that's what's talking to uh, was talking to. Orla. Well, let's find mm. out. What was your uh, result? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You do note that you have seen writings about the dark mantle in conjunction with writings about the drow. Oh. So this has something to do with drow. It's a possibility. Uh, these are those elves. That are like the deep elves from my land, but you said they were much worse. Yes, these are the evil. Evil. All right, well, let's find out what's behind this door. And I'll open the door. Okay, you open the door and you enter into the same lavishly... Uh, enter, but I enter the door and go, hello! <sighs> More visitors, I take it. Yes, I was told to come and speak to you from a small friend of mine named Orla. Oh, yes, her. Huh. She said that it would be entertaining to speak to you. I am Mureri. I'm a Lunalian from a faraway land called Amari. Yes, I immediately noted your distinct pallor. Am I see anything in there? Go ahead and roll uh, perception, please. <laughs> okay. It's another one. No, it's yeah, not, you don't we. see anything. Um, what about these guys? Are they with me? I don't know. Are you? I would have said posted outside the door, ready okay. if something happened. <sighs> and to, and to can, whom? And can to I whom? S- sorry, can I see the books inside? It, did you go into the room? Uh, I'm gonna stop beside him and take a look inside. Okay. Yep. Then you do see a bookshelf. I'm gonna run towards the books. Okay. To whom am I speaking? Okay. At that moment. <laughs> this is where we lose Aura. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Goodbye, boom. Aura. <sighs> <sighs> Uninvited guests are the worst. And you see a shimmer in the corner by the, uh, I told you there was a fainting couch along the wall with the fireplace. Yeah. Kind of in the corner between the fireplace and the fainting couch, you see a brief shimmer, almost like that translucent shimmering you see above hot asphalt. Uh, you can't make out a form, but you note with your magical training that something is there. And a moment later, or it disappears. <gasps> Aura? Hello. Well, that Hello. wasn't very nice. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. us, Dan. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, that was a lot of fun. If you want to see more Dan, which we all do, he will be playing 
He'll be running Shadowrun tomorrow night at 7 p.m. here on Six Sides of Gaming. And believe me, it is a game you do not want to miss. So see you tomorrow, my man. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you very for much playing. for having me. Uh, I, I can't wait time. for Aura to pop up again randomly. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> She's be like, Shazam! Thank you, Dan. Have a lovely evening. Thank yes, you for joining we'll see us. see each other soon, guys. Bye! Bye. And then, poof! Bamf! Bamf! Come on, Gran! Back in now? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're kind of out in the, the you're hallway, hallway judgingly staring at Moreri doing stuff that Orla well, suggests. Well, that wasn't very yeah. nice. Why would you do that to the poor fellow? Where did you put him? No response. Uh, I'm done petting the pill bug and making sure it's okay. I was worried about it. And okay. Telling it it's, I'm sorry it that it's It seems two to be okay. Dead. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I tell it it's two friends are dead. Does it care? It doesn't seem to understand you. So tempted to cast speak with animals. Where did <laughs> you put the person? A few moments later, you feel, uh, uh, again, this is based more on your uh, arcane training, more so than your physical senses, but you sense a slight change in the, the ether, I suppose, in the room as you feel uh, some presence return. I certainly didn't mean to harm the lad, but we can't have you just poking throughout my belongings. Now, where were we? Why are you in my chamber? Uh, I believe the questions are, are done unless you answer what you did with our friend Aura. That was extremely rude of you to do. Oh, he no. is in the bazaar. You will find him there if you so wish. Oh, great. Well then, uh, again, How I am bizarre. Aura. How bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's knocking things over in the studio in the background, as far as I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good>. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I just come walking out. Do, 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 do. All right, my pill bug's okay. Still mad about the other two, but <laughs> I want to go out on a limb here. There's no trees around. Uh, yes, very clever. Now bitchy, I want to bitchy, let you know bitchy. that while I usually am a little more forceful with guests who force their presence upon me. You've actually caught me at what I would consider an in inopportune time on my end. As your friend, and actually, in retrospect, you have been so kind as to give me your names, I will give you mine. Ooh. With a word, you see this form appear in the corner of the room, standing between the fainting couch and the fireplace. It's of a slender, dark elf purple skin, white um, sclera of the eye, but the pupil, uh, the irises are a vibrant crimson, has long, almost waist length white hair, and it appears to be a male, which um, it, within drow society, males are considered the... Uh, it's a matriarch system. It's a matriarchal yep. system, yes. And in fact, males are treated so. fairly... Uh, poorly, in that sense. They're considered concubines, slaves, uh, gladiators at most. This one appears to be an accomplished wizard. Um, and he addresses you as he brushes his long... It's actually like a very old person's hair, if you can picture it. A very frizzy shock of white, almost triangle-shaped hair. He's got a hair comb on top of his head, kind of forcing it back out of his face, and it cascades down across his shoulders, kind of making slightly wider than his profile triangle of hair. <laughs> Just behind him. My <gasps> name is Rizeril Ovrindar. Weird. And See? I welcome you to my chambers. They seem much more friendly than you were saying. Are you one of those drow? I am, yes. Everybody's been telling me that you're evil and, and, and need to be vanquished. I, I don't feel the need to fight you. I am an Ariel elf. Your kind is unfamiliar to me. Oh, yes. Although... Well, we live in the skies. While you are here, you can consider yourself safe in this place. Uh, However... You need some insight on that one. Go ahead and roll it. You guys are all there, too, if you want to do anything. Uh, yeah, did you enter 17. the room? Yeah. Standing outside the room in the doorway, looking all in, at the door, am yeah. I able to? Where we are, are we all able to see? Yes. Um, okay. The drow has dropped his 
greater invisibility okay. spell yeah, and is I'm now visible to all. 17 on, on my insight. Okay. Uh, six, seven, 18. Eight. Nine. Like you don't body. doubt the sincerity of his words, but something at the back of your mind tells you that you've heard the name Alvrindar before and not in a positive context. Make of that what you will. So. 19. Well, as soon as, this guy, as soon as I get some breeze, I'll be okay. But until then, I'll walk in. You don't feel a breeze. Okay. Is your weapon unsheathed? Yeah. It'll be not at the ready. It'll be down down to my side. But I'll, I will casually even like... I suppose the RL do not teach their children manners, but I suppose I'll have to let it slide in this case. I don't understand. Explain to me what manners are in this world. Stepping into a person's private chambers with a weapon unsheathed could be considered a hostile act. Oh, of course. I thought Or maybe... a sexy one. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> do your kind not use weaponry? I'm laughing. Rizeril is not. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do your kind not use weaponry? I have no intention to use this hostily. If I did, it would be... It would You'll have started it already. soon enough, I'm afraid. I have something to show you. As I mentioned, my name is Rizeril of Rindar. And my family is notorious even amongst the drow. For those of you who are familiar, drow society is built upon the fame and power of different families that live within the underdark region of this world. Now, families can be considered almost governments in and of themselves, and they're always at war. And Nobody really gives this a lot of thought, usually, and families are usually left to their own machinations, but my family has a history of transgressing what I would call natural law. It is for this reason that I have taken leave of them, and I have made my abode here in this dungeon. It appears to be safer than other areas and subterranean haunts, which I might be able to occupy otherwise, but seeing as I am a male, and you'll forgive my boastfulness, a reasonably powerful one, there is a bounty on my head placed by the House of Alvrindar. Does that cue into me at all, the bounty? Uh... You what said I exactly? heard his name from something before, so as he's talking... The name to Alvrindar, he keeps repeating it. Um, you've heard it before. Um, it is a little familiar to you, Zephyrus. I was wondering. Um, just as a bit of story bit here, uh, you were um, contacted by a member of Azrock's, fan, uh, Azrock's faction on the Sargoth level of the Undermountain. Mm -hmm. You know that they're at war with a drow house called Alvrindar. Why they're at war, you don't know. You just know that recently the drow have been making gains on Azrock's territory, and you've been conscripted to go... Well, sorry, you've been hired to go down and help Azrock's side in what ways you can. Now, this will be easier for me to demonstrate than to explain. So... You may have some misgivings about this, and I ask that you trust me, but for now, it makes a gesture and a circle that you had not seen on the ground, encompassing the entire room, lights up. And if you're standing just outside the room, you feel it draw you in. And a moment later, you find yourself in a cylindrical chamber made of slate, and you see um, openings at various heights. It's approximately 60 feet from floor to ceiling, and the room is probably about 100 feet across. And you hear a high-pitched screech echo from down one of the hallways on the ground level. Now, my friends... Is he with us? What? Is he with us? Rizeril, yes. Yeah. He goes, I will take my leave, and I will allow you to see what some of the experimentation of my family has brought to this world. When you were finished, and I could mean that in either sense, whether you defeat this foe or whether it defeats you, you will know what kind of danger the world is in. Uh. But for now, my friends, I'm afraid I must leave. 
casts a spell and you hear like a like a sucking noise and I'm going to disappear. Okay. I was gonna counter spell it. So oh, you can try. No. No, no. No. Now this is where the audience vote comes into play. Fuck. It's not a whole bunch of unicorns, is it? It is not. Damn it. <laughs> now Well, we're dead. We keep saying that. You hear a high pitched, very loud shriek emanate from one of the tunnels. And you're unable. Oh, actually, I'll have um, Orla and Mareri roll nature. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Nature, you said? Yep. Oh, balls. Uh, 14. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> So, you were deposited in roughly this area. Snapping assholes. And Snapping it's assholes. dark in here. There's no natural or magical light that you can see, but I believe all of you are under the effects of dark vision. Do you want to switch it over to the viewership? Do they have the access to it? I was waiting to see if we were drawing something. Uh... No, um, this area is pretty much like it kind of rounds off on these edges Okay. because this is 100 by 100 feet and it's a cylindrical circular room through one of the entrances. You see what appears to be at probably about eight feet of height. The head of a baby bird emerge Sweet Christmas. in the hallway and a keening wail emits from it. It's a oh my God, that's amazing. I would like to introduce you to a creation of mine called the Chickapede. <laughs> and I will have you roll initiative. Hold on, I gotta Jesus draw this. Christ. This is fucking fantastic. Do you want to hold that up so the viewers can see? Uh, sure, which camera? Uh, your what? camera. The Chickapede. The Chickapede. Would you guys like to take a quick look at it? No? You guys are terrified? Yeah, That's cool. good. No, it's freaking great. Can you see it on the map? The yes. Chick it's visible. Feed. As it emerges from the tunnel, you see section after section of this snake-like creature emerge into the room. What the hell is that? And you're assailed by this stench of sweaty and unclean bird. <laughs> um, it's a fairly horrific scent, actually. It's no. not that great. Okay, you ever been like to a, a chicken, chicken barn? barn? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. There's my, the joke. My uncle does the chickens, and boy, I, I will never go near that place again during certain periods. Nope, it stinks. No thanks. All right, so I will have you roll initiative, please. All right. Chickapede. Roll initiative, you say. 13. Fish. Gren, what'd you come up with? Um, a big ol' seven. Ooh. Zephyrus? Uh, 20. Orla? 15. 20 and for me. And Mareri. 20? Yeah. All right, so, uh, what's your dex mod? Uh, Plus four. Yours, Murray? Uh Plus dexterity, plus four. Okay. So, Zephyr or Murray, you can choose who goes amongst you. you can go ahead. This thing is massive. A yep. lot of things to... I'll kick on the Blade Song again. Okay. And take flight. How, yeah, how tall is this thing? Six. 60 feet high. Yeah, I'll take flight. <laughs> How high would you like to go? Um, actually, before I go, how high, how high is this thing? Like, how big is this thing? Or At the one? shoulder, it seems to be about 15 feet high, but there's a lot of length to it. Okay, so as That's I'm going up, said. as I'm going <laughs> up, my wings are gonna flap down and there's gonna be like this kick of dust and cleanliness in the air. There's gonna be a slight charge to it as I'm going up. And as the electricity leaves the ground with me, I point the sword 
I point the sword at it and then fly up and blast a lightning bolt all the way down its spine. Okay, it's still going to count as one impact because it's a single yeah, creature. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But yeah, I get it. And give it a little jolt of, uh, of rejuvenation. Murray's all right, so wasting zero percent time. How high would you like to be? Uh, and then and then I, and then I'll move my flight up. I'll go forty feet up because that's all the movement I've got. All right, so go ahead and reduce it. Make it tiny. Well, oh, you're at. Oh my god. It. I thought about reducing it. I should reduce this as a little baby chick. <laughs> and then I can eat it. Squish. <laughs> or as a bear goes, nom, 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 nom. No, no, we gotta have some fun with this. All right, that would be so funny, it would comes just ruin to a 14. Let's fail by one. So 10, 20, 30, 9 electrical damage. Lightning 39? Damage. <laughs> The bolt rocks through it. You can see it arc. And you make an interesting note. As you're up in the air, you notice that even though the outside edge of this creature is all downy, you can see that in between the patches of feathers, um, the skin that you can see is this mottled, sickly pink gray color. And occasionally you see a beak rise to the surface Ew. out of it gnash and then descend beneath the surface of the Shit, skin. Shit, this is right out of the House of Thousand Corpses, man. Yeah, oh. it is. All right, go yeah, ahead. It uh, Zephyrus, it's your turn. Brody zombie. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to run up to it and try to mount it. Okay, <laughs> go I ahead. the chicken. <laughs> chicken riding. Go ahead and roll an acrobatics check for me. This is the extra spicy oh, chocobo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 18. <laughs> Okay, and it's going to attempt to avoid this. Its attempt comes through at a 21. So you attempt to get a hold of it, but you can't find purchase. And you find that as your hand presses down on it, there's like a kind of a sickly, sticky consistency to the skin. And you just kind of recoil involuntarily. And that's what causes you to lose your grip. Okay. So All right. What would you like to do with the rest uh, of your turn? Would that count as my action, or as part of my movement to have tried to? I will that? consider that an attempt to move, but that will consume the rest of your movement okay. for the turn to try and do that. Uh, another question: What's the li- what's Wait, the lighting maybe? like in here? Dark. Oh. Dark. Cool. All right. I will take my two attacks at it then. Um, okay. Twenty-five. Yep, that hits. Nine damage. Okay. Uh, second attack. Nine. Sixteen. Does not hit. Okay. As you strike it, your hand up. skids across the surface, and you feel a very unpleasant sensation, almost like uh, people call. Have it. you ever seen, yeah. um, you know, a turkey right before it's prepared? How the skin mm. has like <laughs> kind of bumps all mm-hmm. over it where the feather follicles were. As you yes. strike, you move the feathers, and you f- see the kind of undulating flesh underneath in your... Uh, uh, Bonus action, I will shadow step towards the end of the creature, actually. The tail end of it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's kind of the end of the room. That's fine. (laughs) But on the... uh, Can I do it on the opposite side? Does it have to be a point you can see? Oh, yes. All right, that would be very obscured. Okay, so then I'll go where it was. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. All right. It is going to charge towards Orla. What? What the fuck did I do? I'm tiny. I'm not even a bear yet. You're right in front of me. You're an appetizer. God damn it. Has it leaves? Can I get an opportunity attack? Yes. Um, yank its leg off, just like you did with my bug friend. <laughs> Question. Um, with Shadow Step says you have advantage on your first melee attack. Would that work with opportunity attacks, or would it be my ne- attack on the turn? It will be consumed by your opportunity attack. Okay. I will attack with advantage then. Uh, oh. <laughs> Burn that sweet inspo. Yeah. Uh, 18. Not enough to hit. 
you strike and your hand just doesn't make purchase against the creature's oily Fast hide. Fucker. So it charges towards uh, Orla. Orla, I need you to do a strength saving throw as it charges towards you. And as it approaches, it drops its head and opens its mouth like a scoop, like it's trying to bite you. Fourteen. Okay, that's not enough. As the creature comes towards you, it kind of knocks you down. You're knocked prone, and it's going to unleash a full attack action on you. Can I... Do I get a chance to react at all? Not at this point, no. So... <laughs> Alright, so it's going to use... Slight change of tack. It's going to, after it knocks you down, it's going to use a scratch attack, and then it's going to try and grab you. Okay. So, uh, comes in at 19 to hit. Uh, yep. So, I need you to do a strength save as it scratches against you, and as its claws rake against you, which I'll give you the damage in just a second here, you feel the claw close around you and begin to lift you off the ground. 20. All right, you manage to wriggle out, but you do still take the damage from the attack, which is... Oh, Anybody die? Nice. Not, yet. Not yet, but soon. <laughs> uh, 23 slashing damage. Pardon? Jesus, fuck. Right, this might be our death. We have to hit with everything we got. Okay, cool, cool. I'm stress eating. Cool. <laughs> All right, so you take 23 slashing damage. It attempted to grab you, and it wasn't able to, and that means it cannot do its swallow attack. Okay, so... All right, so that will complete its turn for the round. Orla, it's your turn, and I need you to immediately give me a constitution saving throw. Uh -huh. What the Christ? As the creature gets close to you, the stench of it is just overpowering. Oh, cock. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to tell at this point in the creature's <laughs> life cycle, but you'll have to check later on. If you get round near one oh, of its cock. heads. Oh, cock. There's the official term. Motherfuck, that's the same number. Oh, cock. Nine. Unfortunately, like you are considered poisoned until the start of the creature's next turn. Oh my god, turn. this thing is insane. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, that, just the smell of it is just overpowering. Orla, you see her get knocked down by the creature and it slashes down across her. And you see Orla just immediately kind of roll over onto her side and just start retching. Can I do anything? Uh, it's your turn. You can do... You've, you're not impeded in any way. You've still got your action, movement, bonus action, whatever. She's considered poisoned? You're considered poisoned, which means... Disadvantage on attacks? You have disadvantage on attacks and... Saves and saves. checks, I think. Like, everything. It's Fuck like the shittiest advice. condition you could have. Next to exhaustion. Okay, cool. If I turn into a bear, does that carry over? Yeah. You'll still be poisoned, but you use the bear's constitution modifier, which might be better for you. Uh, it's just attack rolls and ability checks. Saving throws are not affected oh, no? when you're poisoned. Yes. Okay. So that's good. It's a great way to shut rogues off. <laughs> better not. If you get the uh, poison condition, you're not doing sneak attacks anymore. I know. Sucks. Sucks, Gran. <laughs> it sucks. It does. It does. But I'm not the one. This is what happens if you eat McNuggets. <laughs> this is the kind of junk you get. Well, good thing I don't uh, like McDonald's. Okay, so I'm gonna cast. Who does? Chad. I don't know where I Kirk. <laughs> Kirk. Kirk. Kirk's a Mc Kirk's a Taco Bell guy. So is Chad. They're I'm an everything cast trash food people. Moonbeam, I think. <laughs> love you. I love you, Chad. <laughs> we both do. Yeah. Okay, where are you going to put it? I'm going to cast Moonbeam on it. Um, right on its head. Because right above. Whoa, is that going to hit me? Nope. Nope. You can t the creature's big enough. You can target it a bit further back. Okay. I like Egg McMuffins. On the creature, yeah, deal with good. those. McFlurries okay. are pretty good. Yeah. So, um, so if the creature enters the spell area for the first time on its turn or it starts its turn there, it's engulfed by ghostly flames that cause searing pain and it must make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, it's turn to make a con save. And yeah, on its turn. Yeah, okay. and I cast it. I'm casting it at third level, so I'm it's three d ten radiant damage on a failed save. Okay, excellent. 
All right. So, what else would you like to do? Turn I think you can bear. still bear. No, wait, out. I can't. Can I? Yep. It's, it's, it's a bonus, bonus action. action. Oh yeah. Okay. Bear you. Bear. Okay. You're a prone bear, but you're a bear. I'm a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lying there. Are you going to stand up or stay down? Uh, I'll stand up. Oh, All right, there so is. there's half your movement. <laughs> it's like sound effects. You've already done your action, half your movement. What would you like to do? Move back with the rest of my movement, whatever that is. You'll get an attack of opportunity. It will yeah. provide an oh, attack of opportunity. Oh, sucker. Okay, just stay there then. Okay. <laughs> so you roar in its face, but the roar kind of falters like roar. <laughs> <laughs> the creature is going to use one of its legendary actions. Oh, of course, oh, it has legendary, legendary actions. actions. Yep. To attempt to inflict you with its frightful presence, I need you to do a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Now you use something that Jesus Christ on a cracker. Hey, they shouldn't have disadvantage. Um, By the way, dead. Lime Tapestry gave one inspiration to each player. Thank you for that. Thank you, Lime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're going to need them. Oh, fuck me sideways. I mean, it's trying to. You are on your side. It is Not trying anymore. to. Not anymore. No. She's a bear. She's on her feet. Well, no, it's still trying to fuck me side. Whoa, oh, my God. Okay, so that is an eight. That's not enough. No shit. You're, <laughs> you're now considered frightened. Cool. Of the creature. You get a saving throw at the start of your turn to see if you get anything you can do. But what that does is it causes you to back away. And so it's going to get... An well, end. actually, no, it's not your turn, so you won't back away yet. But all you can do is move away from it while you're frightened. Sweet. Well, I'm sorry, not technically all you can do. Um, you just can't move towards it in any fashion. Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that is that. Gran, your turn. By the way, uh, Spec gave inspiration to Brodeur. Uh, Bro, because, oh, his old, old yeah. spelling? Yeah, because Delay gave inspiration. It was a trap. It's a trap. Cool. It's a trap. Delay. So, so someone drop. gave inspiration, so that, that was an inspiration trap? Yeah. <laughs> Someday it'll just, we'll have like an Ouroboros of inspiration traps. It's going to be great. Oh, my God. Okay. So Specs on Grant, his whole your turn. DM inspiration. I need you to do a constitution yeah. saving throw for me, please. Me? Yep. This Never. thing is fucking evil. Yeah, this is this is the end of Brody's our party. Brody's too this is the last nice. Time Brody doesn't do I stuff. I never say that. I have never said that 11. ever on stream. So uh, no, ever. You period. immediately start retching the scent of this vile, vile aberration. The bathroom after Chad's blah. talk about. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> your attack rolls and really ability specific. checks are at disadvantage for the time I've being. I've been there. <laughs> really? They are. Really? Well, was, wouldn't it balance out because someone's engaged? Who? Orla. Me. Okay. Right? Sure. So it would be a straight roll, it? but it won't be Wait, sneak attack. Wait, let me attack. read this first. Fucking legendary chicken. No, maybe that's not right. Burr, 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 burr. No, I do have disadvantage. Okay. Welcome, Raiders. Homebrew Cafe just came in with six other people. Nice. Oh, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Just in time You're for a critical fail. Just in, yeah, just, yeah. just in time to watch us all die by a fucking chicken. <laughs> to be fair, it's one hell of a chicken. It's a rotten ass chicken. It is. Okay, thing. so what are you doing, Graham? I critical critical failed. Okay, so as you're loading your hand cross, we're like, whoop, whoop, whoop. You jam the bolt. No, oh, Joey. You'll need to spend your action next round on jamming your weapon oh, if you wish I'm to use it. I'm just gonna throw it away. Okay. <laughs> so you drop your hand <laughs> crossbow. You still have a bonus action and movement. Oh my god, we're so toast. Do you have that acid? I'm not. I'm gonna fly around. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I have poison. I don't have oh, acid. Poison. Well, but it, it gives you poison, so it's probably immune to poison. Those who know, know. <sighs> Those who know know what this is, no? Are yep. we dead? Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'll run up to it because now I have to stab this damn thing. And that is my turn. Okay. It is going to use one of its legendary actions. Oh fuck. To make a. Okay, it's going to do a grab attack against Orla. It has to make a con saving throw. Oh, no, it doesn't, actually. This isn't its turn. Legendary actions occur after another player's turn. 
So I need you to do a strength save for me. Uh, Delay gave one to Brodeu to join Spec. <laughs> oh, right. Spec, Spec, Spec has enough in his army. And then Kutne came back and put everybody back at five. Oh, oh thank you. We got We're gonna need it. Our They're going angel. to need it. Okay, yes. so. Am I actually All right, I'm in this fight now. This All right. No, aura. no, hold on. I've got to roll that. The attack comes in at 16. Does it hit? Yes, but I haven't made my strength save. Well, I made well, one and I haven't. The attack, it. if it hits, will prompt the strength saving throw. So it hits, so you do need to do the save. Okay. 18 uh, plus 5 is 23. 23. All right. So it attempts to grab you, but with your larger size, you manage to just kind of bat the claw away. Oh. So you do take the slashing damage from the attack, but it doesn't manage to get a hold of you. Okay. And you take. 20 slashing damage. Fuck me. Christ on a cracker. All right. We are at the top of the order, which refreshes its legendary action. No! Zephyrus. All right. Um, I meant to say this earlier, but when at the mention of the stench, I'm going to start holding my breath and not try to inhale any of that. That will give you advantage on your con saves. Cool. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, which you will need to make for me, please. Okay. You're standing at his butt. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, let's see. <sighs> All right. <gasps> uh, nine. That's what you came up with total? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, you are considered poisoned. Cool. So your no. attacks and ability checks are now look made it, at disadvantage. Look it, look it, look it, what look is it. going on Thank up there? Thank you, whoever did that. You're a brilliant fucking person. Well, oh. There's a few things that are happening. Oh, so my God. So, uh, <laughs> TK dropped some subs. Thank you. And then, Thank wow. You. Thanks, TK. And then uh, Delay dropped uh, two for Brody. And then TK spent a whole bunch of his channel points. To Thank bring, you To give so you each much. five. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank that, you. That was 100,000 channel points. Jesus. Oh, Spec's oh, hoping it will somehow. Am yeah, I actually at that? Because that still no, shows Spec aura on that. there. I'll fix it. Okay, okay. okay. Like so wow. an army of his own, too. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Spec. Help me out, buddy. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, Zephyrus, you are considered poison, You're five. but it is your enough. turn. Okay, I'm going to run. <laughs> my chicken will save I'm gonna me. I'm going to run up to it and stab it in its butt with my katana. Stab it in its butt. Okay, so it's going to be a straight roll. Thank it is engaged with another creature you're considered flanking. Uh, 20? Yes, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Hey, 12 damage? Yes. Is your weapon magical? Uh, not the katana. Okay. All right. So do I see that it doesn't take quite as much effect? No, it doesn't seem to okay. be quite as effective as you had hoped. Um, Why are you oh laughing? Oh, my There's God. Like an evil laugh oh. over there. <laughs> what the hell? Thanks, Spec, for dropping 20 for Brody. Thank you. What the fuck? Oh, my no, God. Thank you. We what were already going to die because of the fucking chick fill a vote. Oh, my God. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, so. <laughs> if we combine our things, I'm so we freaking stoked. a heroic inspiration and just insta-kill it. No, I can't because he's got heroic inspiration <laughs> to counter it. You better fucking reduce the size of this so I can eat it. Okay, this all right. Um, all right, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, More attacks, I'm I was going to sure. say, using the momentum of Jesus. the sword Thank stuck in its you. butt, I want to try to swing up onto the creature again. All right, go ahead. It's going to roll an opposed dex. Oh Actually, it's not even aware of you, so just go oh, ahead and roll acrobatics. Even, I can't even feel you fucking it in the ass. 20? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's enough to get on it. Cool. Wow. And then I, as I slam it, I'm going to like slam attack it with my knee or whatever, kick down on it as I land. Should we spells out and uh, figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, all right, so go ahead and roll an attack. Oh, my God. Uh, is this at disadvantage? Or? It would be at disadvantage, but okay. again, it's already engaged, it's so it's engaged? a straight roll. Okay. Uh, it's engaged, so too. 16. Aw, when are you guys getting married? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's okay, I got a few I got Right a few after plans. TPK. TPK? Yeah. Hey, this man, TPK is trying to help with me, Tommy. <laughs> all right. But spec is just... <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so. Less excited. Uh, 16. Unfortunately, that's not one. enough to strike. More? 
right. Yeah, you got another uh, one. Can we oh, cap this? No. Just a cat. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> can we cap this? This is redonkulous. You can just do a whole bunch of max damage. And Reviews yeah, resume. I can do that. I'm going to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through and uh, maybe come up with some more crazy stuff for you guys to do later. Okay, so. Uh, okay. um, I will flurry blows and take two more attacks okay, at yep. it. Does this thing even hurt? No, it's a piece of uh, rotten chicken. Okay. We're gonna... That puts me down to... Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not, my good ones are all gone. You could um, just set your die. Yeah, I could. Do, do it. Do it. Do okay, it. yeah, I'm gonna spend, what, three? Yeah, I'm gonna set three yeah. to set it to a twenty. Yep. Okay, oh, so now it down. doesn't count as a no. critical yeah. hit. No. But with all your modifiers and stuff, again, it can help you break that threshold. So that what would be your... a twenty-seven. No. Okay. okay. It hits, but no. Uh, I'm gonna try to stunning strike. Okay. Excellent. Probably not gonna do anything, but stun it in the butt. <laughs> Stun like, like he has so much inspiration, it's not gonna do more. anything. More! What the frick yes! is these balls? Send more! There is Thank some you. hate going on to the uh, party tonight. Uh, that's that fine. Was, yeah. That was from Spec. Uh, Again? Inspiration trap because Spec, haven't you done enough? gave you inspiration. <laughs> nice! Oh so then Spec gave it to you. Thank you. Why do I feel like this is turning into uh, Deadliest Dungeon all of a sudden? Like, I, I, except I, Orla's the key master. All right. <laughs> so. I don't wanna just roll up Orla's brother, it's fine. Okay. What happens if we TPK? Then we all make new characters, or you find. We'll have to game. figure that out. I didn't really think that far. Uh, <laughs> all right. If so you're TPK, I have to change the names on screen. Yeah. That's all right. All. So it comes up as I'll a fifteen on the save. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so you uh, feel the I'll muscles be begin to like lock up for a second, but it fights relative. it off. It is not oh, immune. God. Uh, five damage. Okay. Oh god. And that that one is magical. This is great. I mean, okay. I'm freaking yep. out. I got some plans. I got some All plans. Right. Same, same. So. All right. Zephyrus, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Moreri, it's your turn. I'm way above this thing, right? Yep. And I'm watching the carnage yep. below. I'm like, some crazy shit going on. This is too much, my friends. I can't stand seeing you live or die like this. Did you say live <laughs> Sorry. Like this? Uh, I you must. can do something. I must make it a sp- a speck of its size, and I'll yes. cast Reduce on it, and okay. roll, make your roll a one. I am going to spend the inspiration to set my die to a twenty. But you can't. When you set these, when you set the dice to it, can't you? Can't you? Or you can do whatever can you want, I guess. Can't. But generally, it's like when you spend it, can't can't you? Like that's, you can set it against me, but but I have like priority to set it against you. You can. I, I guess know. you could break it. I guess you could break it. He's the one with 27 you can break inspiration. It. Uh, TK, that, I, I don't care if that's the exact right number or not. Yes, that gets all the players to 20. What? What? <gasps> what? What? Oh, what? Uh, uh, TK just dropped 4,600 <laughs> to get oh, you all to 20. My God. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to be some <laughs> shit, folks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh All right, I'm God. definitely Can you take doing a photo that. of this, Adrian, because I've never seen this, this before. This is wild. Oh, I don't even know oh, what to do God. with this. Yes, you do heroic inspiration. We, but everybody's got. We what can happens? Roll heroic inspiration. Well, this is we're no longer playing D and D anymore. We're just literally having a story off. This is crazy. All right, I am going to drop mine down to twenty four and set your die roll or my die roll to twenty for the save on the effect. I don't understand how. Reduce works when you cast it well, on a creature that's Well, if you fast your saving throw, then it doesn't work. Okay. All it would do is it would reduce its side ca- size category from whatever it is to one category below. All right, so it, it doesn't would, work. It'd be a medium sized chicken. In this case, um, I'm going to pass on that. Uh, roll. Can you roll Arcana for me? Yeah, I'm just going to uh, mark mark my sp- wasted spell slot. Fifteen. <sighs> Holy you shit. detect immediately that this creature, as an aberration, is immune to any spell or effect that would alter its form. It's a feat given the creature called immutable form. So I shouldn't have spent those three inspiration, but I said I did it. Okay. I forgot um, it had that. But, <laughs> so reduce wouldn't work in this That's fine. event. So I'll regardless. just be like, oh, oh, shit. 
Okay. <laughs> well, Murray so, swore. Murray's that's like, good. yeah, that's not good. Fellows, so, this might be the end of us. So, that was your action. What would you like to do next? Uh, hover. <laughs> okay. I'll go higher up to 60 feet. <laughs> See if there's an escape hatch. Yes, and look for a way out. Because you said that there was a bunch of paths and stuff, right? Uh, there were holes in the walls. Like for more chickens? Yeah, I'll go look at the holes in the walls. What's going on in there? Okay, so yeah. uh, what's your movement? Uh, my movement is 40. Are the holes big enough for the chickens to fit into? Uh, or better yet? You us. would have no idea. Um, yeah, so you're, you're you can go uh, kind of to here. Sorry, it's not for I heard that. I heard something yeah. bigger than the blink thing. So I actually don't have enough buttons on my device here to do that, so give, bear with me a second. All right, so as you're looking through the holes, you hear this disgusting squelching noise. Zephyrus, I need you to do a dex save for me. Uh, it's going to roll. Is it a constitution save against your Sorry, moonbeam? Sorry, uh, let me see here. Well, Raven yes, Dwell, I hope you're watching this because this is what you call deadly stuff. Comes to 23 <laughs> on its ridiculous. save. Uh, 19 <laughs> for mine. Um, okay, good. I'm stunned. You I actually to, don't know what to do. I know. You managed know. to drop your stance and kind of hold on tight as the creature's body seems to retract forward and the creature rears up. So it still takes. And gains. Like the back end kind of occupies this spot and its body extends straight up. Huh? It's 50 feet in the air, and it reaches out, does a scratch, and a grab attack on Morari. It still takes half damage. Yep, and go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, three, eight, 18. What is going on here? What the fuck? Thank you. Uh, those 10 were from spec again. It takes 18. You're so great. 18 Thank radiant you. damage. Okay. Or half of 18, sorry, nine radiant damage. Mother cracker. Oh my god. So you see little flames begin to lick up its body as the creature elevates and it's it's hard to describe. Have any of you guys seen this is gonna be fairly esoteric. Have you seen the Marilyn Manson music video for Deep Six? Fuck no. Okay. Way back, yeah. It does yeah, some yeah, like yeah. weird like stretchy shit and then shifts. It's like its body retracts into itself and it forces the four legs yeah, of the it's creature up. Like, maneuver, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it kind of forces it up and it's so right now, its last two sets of legs are directly in front of Orla. Yeah, yeah. And as each set of legs extends up into the air, they gain the functionality of uh, attacks. But the creature gets up. It's going to attack Morari. It comes in with a 28 to hit on the scratch. You can re-roll that. Oh, you just made me re-roll it? Or? Yeah. Okay, the second one is a 17. Yeah, that misses. Okay. <laughs> it's going to attack again with its scratch. On the other hand, comes in at 23. Shield. Okay. And it's going to do a bite attack. Comes in at a 17, so that's not going to hit. <laughs> ha, animal handling. But out of nowhere, uh, this creature is now extended up. Um, it cannot currently direct melee attacks at creatures on the ground that are not directly in front of it. So, for now, Gran and Orla are actually in a really good spot right now. And it goes to Orla's turn. I, I need you. you to do a constitution save, please. Okay. This will see if it breaks the effect of the poisoning. Uh, I've got enough to still do all that. Um. <laughs> to still do all of it. Oh my god. They just keep you giving it to you, man. I don't know why you're at 36. I've never okay. seen a GM get 36. I am going to make so many cool encounters like this. You guys okay, have no idea. 13. That's just enough. Thank so God. you, uh, oh, you know when you get a smell that's so bad that it kind of sticks. I have smelled rotten chicken after, oddly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get to the point where like, yeah, it's there. Yeah, it sucks. It's not making you wretch anymore. You're no longer considered poisoned. Sweet. I need you to do a wisdom save to see if it breaks your fear effect. Okay, uh, 14, 15. Fortunately, that's not enough. You're still c kind of wary of the creature, so you can't get close to it. You can still maintain concentration on your spell. I'm oh. going to spend 10 inspiration. So 
just let you know how you spend it. So Hero Adventurous Inspiration allows you to break a game mechanic, but it doesn't let you to do crazy, crazy stuff. The heroic one is the let you is one mm. where we stop the music and we discuss it. So Adventurous Inspiration is like if you're dead or you're dying, you can like auto crit to get up again. That kind of stuff. Like you gotta you gotta break a mechanic. Or like you're you're a druid, but somehow you want to summon lightning and shoot a lightning bolt, then you can shoot a lightning bolt. Just weird stuff like that. Ooh. What were we thinking of doing? I'm just giving you a heads up, so that way. I was gonna try and talk to it because you guys killed my last friends. Oh, this might work. I mean, that, that's an idea, but okay. So, how would you like to you're, keep in mind your <laughs> kill in your these bear fucks? Form. Keep me alive. Yeah, right. I see so I, I so I would go back to Orla. Because bear form doesn't seem to be so helping me. there's your me. bonus action. Yeah, bear form doesn't seem to be helping me much with this thing. <laughs> and I would want to use uh, animal handling, speak to animals. That is one of my spells, but maybe animal okay, handling. Okay, so speak to animals. Let me see, if because if it's concentration, that'll drop your moonbeam. Uh, let me see what that is. Where's my speak to animals? Is like that abomination, not an animal? Uh, aberration. Aberration. No, it doesn't say concentration. You know what? I'm going to allow it though, because it's definitely from chickens <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the favorite. Well, so is KFC, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But neither look like You shouldn't really put chicken. that in your city All chicken. Right, so, um,. Oh my God! What's next? I thought that fire room was rough enough. I know. <laughs> so you're gonna allow adventurous inspiration? Uh, it's a first level spell. I'm just trying to find speak with animals here. Oh, uh, I have the little card. I just want to see what it permits you to do. You gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. Uh. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll allow you to kind of understand what some of the noises from it are, what they mean. Will it Because it's constantly me? kind of like chirping and screeching and stuff, and as little beaks emerge from other parts of its body, they go <laughs> disappear and stuff. They're all, it sounds like it's in pain. It's being driven insane by pain. Interesting. What, um... That's interesting. Okay, so that's your action, your bonus action work. to bamf of being a bear. Yeah. It's anything that you try and get from it is unintelligible. It's just you can detect that it's in a massive amount of pain and it's being been driven to the point of insanity. Which means there's very little chance of reasoning with it. It's no, I wasn't away. worried about reasoning with it. I wanted um, to find out if we could save it that way. Or well, I was actually looking at like healing or lesser restoration and like breaking it down into other little chickens with the <clears throat> inspiration that we all have again. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, my god. Wonderful. Yeah, Vagrant stopped you back up. <laughs> Thank oh you. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is nuts. Okay, so. Um, all right, I'm going to consider that ending your turn. Yep, that's ending my okay. turn. That's fine. The creature is going to use its legendary action to, to shift back down. So, Zephyrus, I need I you to do another deck save as you're suddenly just you really flung backwards in space. Uh, 18. Okay, so you manage to hold on as the creature kind of shunts you back to this position, and you find it back down on the ground, kind of face to face with you, Orla. All right, Gran, your turn. I need you to do a con save for me. Now, Orla, since you made that save, you're immune to the effect of the stench. Oh, good. For the next 24 hours. Sweet. Con save. If we're still fighting this thing in 24 hours, we'll be still. Oh, there's <laughs> 20 total. Okay, that's enough to break the effect of poisoning, and same as Orla. I have considered... babies. I've smelled worse. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, so you're considered immune to the effect. Okay. Until. All right. But I'm so. still frightened, right? What are we are going to do? You are technically do? still frightened, yes. He's going to try and stab. Okay, go ahead. You now have... What to do uh, here? Fry it yeah, it's like considered Nancy. advantage on the attack. It's a broad side of it. It's not even necessarily physically aware of you right now. Okay, so... Uh, this was a... Uh, 27... Or 17... 
That was a 23 to hit. Yep, that hits. Okay. So. Uh, oops. Let me see. So I'm going to... Where did it go? I'm going to spend six. Apparitions. Uh, Apparitions. So 14. Aberration. I'm trying to think. I don't know what the oh, properties okay. of an aberration is. I'm going is. to spend I love six, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do max damage on it. Hey. Okay. You Are go. your weapons magical? No. Okay. Um, oh. So, uh, let me math real fast here. While you're doing that, um, sneak attack uh, is considered the type of damage you strike it with, right? What? Yeah, I don't know. No. When you, what do you mean? Okay, so my thought is this creature is resistant to non-magical weaponry. Okay. Meaning, you're going to get your sneak attack at full damage. That's going to do half damage yeah. of that because it's a non-magical weapon. Okay. Okay? So whatever your max damage is, it's do half. half. Uh, 24. Uh, 12. 20, no, that's only, that's only my sneak attack. Oh. Yes. Uh, I've got some ideas. I have almost no ideas here. All right, so I'm gonna try something fun on my turn. So all right, all right, viewership. Let's see what happens here. Half. I think that we got an idea. Yeah. So how did you come out to an odd number? Because the dagger itself is one d. Oh wait, sorry, I did that wrong. Not six. Uh, four. Yeah, one d four plus three for my dagger. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. So seven plus. How many sixes? 31. 31. Okay, so it comes down to 15 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Three. All right, so 15. the creature shrieks, and using a legendary action, it turns. Oh, I'm not done yet, though. Oh. I have my secondary attack. Okay. Yes. And that is a 24 to hit. Yep, that hits. Okay, and then. I'll use another six to max damage it. Oh, wait. No, you know what? I'm not going to waste it on that. Thank you again. <laughs> That's from chat. Wow. You're very sweet. <laughs> and uh, we'll get five damage from that one. Okay. Uh, all right. So. Five total. Whatever. After being halved? No, five is the total I rolled. Okay. All right. So uh, will that finish your yes, action? Yes, I've done all my stuff. Okay. I'm not a monk. So, <laughs> so the creature turns towards you and using a legendary action, it attempts to grab you. Oh, oh. All right. So that comes in at a 16 to hit. That is my armor cast. So that but just also hits. also uncanny dodge. So you'll have the damage. Yep. And uh, I'll need you to do a strength saving throw for me. Well, I am so strong. What if? So half of the damage is. This one is eight plus. Fifteen halved. You'll take seven. That is better. Max damage. On Twenty KOD. total in strength, and I take seven. Yeah. Okay. So, as. The creature closes its hand around you. You manage to just... And you drop back to the ground. And that will end its legendary action there. All Consent right. Consent so is king. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, I totally wasn't going there with that. Okay, all right. So, All right, so to the top of the third round, Zephyrus. Um, I'm going to run up to its head if I have enough. Along its body? Yeah. I'll need you to do an acrobatics check. It's considered difficult terrain hey, as well. Hey, not, not 20. Uh, All right, so it's not considered difficult oh, terrain. Okay. Then 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. All right. Um, and I want to try to punch it in its eye. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> All right, so what that does, if you're going to try and hit a very specific part, it increases the armor class on okay. my end. So go ahead and make your attack. 22? All right, that's enough to hit, but you don't strike it right in the eye like you okay. wanted. You strike it, and it's kind of like here on its head. Okay. Um, I so will stunning strike, and I will spend three to set the results to a one. 
Oh, dirty. Okay. Lovely. Uh, sorry, Whatever, man. Mr. 37. 37? Yeah. In a row? No. <laughs> so. <laughs> Zero percent. So, uh, so after Chen, uh, sorry, after Chad gave oh uh, inspiration God. to Gran, uh, Speck gave one to Brody as an inspiration thank trap. You. He says that's the last one of those specific traps. Oh, oh so that's thank you. That series Speck. is over thank now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> All right. And so then, and then Chad came back in and brought Orla back up to twenty. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Geez. That's right. Power Rangers for life. That's insanity. Right. And I think that's all cut up. That's now. this is wonderful. Okay. So I'm just. The creature is considered stunned till the end of your next turn. Yep. Uh, and that's 10 damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, so next second attack. 22. Yep, that hits. Uh, seven damage. Um, and then I'm gonna spend, uh, let's see. I will like spend eight one. inspiration to regain four key points. And Holy I will do a smokes. flurry of blows. This is crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. I've got, got a really, really neat idea. I'm going to try something out. Okay. Okay. So that's a 27 to hit. <laughs> yes, that hits. Sweet. Fucking rip its head off. Uh, nine damage. Next one. Is a nat 20. Yay! Okay, excellent. Ooh. That's a critical hit, but oh, unfortunately... Max your things. Yeah. <laughs> it... <laughs> Um, sorry, I need to minus the eight first to bring me Kay. to nine. So, unfortunately, it doesn't break the threshold for the special effects, okay. but you can go ahead and roll your double damage. Uh, is that based on the ro- on the pluses that she gets? Huh? Spend another. Thank sorry, what do you mean? Is that based on the pluses that she gets? For max damage. How do you how do you base that? Which it's to... you need to break a threshold of ten of oh, so that'll the be creature's armor class 12. plus its challenge rating. Oh, so this times. is definitely it's a challenge rating one at least. 16 damage. Yeah. 16 damage. All right. <laughs> All right. To a discerning eye. All right. You feel like you're about halfway there. Okay. Okay, Mary. That ends Zephyrus' turn. Can you give me a constitution save, please? And this is with advantage, right? Because I'm holding my breath. Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, eight, nine, nine. 11. Okay. Uh, that's not enough. You're still okay. considered poisoned, I'm afraid. <laughs> Until the point where monks are just like, meh, poison. To be <laughs> fair. May as well get it while I can. <laughs> to be fair, rotten chicken stanks. Oh, me. it is bad. It is one of Rary, the worst it's your turn. On the planet. Okay. Uh, hold on here. I'll need you to do a con save as well, because you, the creature was up there, and it dropped, so you've, okay, you've got a good save. whiff of it. Frack sakes. All right, let's start this. Uh, let's start the rolling train here. Wow, I've got to go. To, I have to go to the last thing. I've never. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know what? Uh, God. Stop one <laughs> three, you piece of shit. There we go. Uh, so, constitution Burr. save? Yes. 23. Okay, all right. So, you shake the effect and you're considered immune to the creature's stench Woo. for the next 24 hours. Okay, okay, I. What's your plus to attack? Uh, seven. Plus seven. And you can't breach its thing. Or like you're next. Yes, I am. Um, can I? Fuck. Can I use an adventurous inspiration to give myself a buff enough to allow me to beat the threshold? If I were to roll, if I were to get a crit. You know what? Here's the thing. I'll allow you to... Or is there a specific target you want to hit? Yeah, I want to I wanna target its head. Okay. Stun it, blind it, whatever we have to do to it. Because I would consider spending enough for a adventurous inspiration enough to hit, trigger that. Okay. As long as your attack hits, I will give you that. Based on the spending of that inspiration. I think that's more than fair. Okay, so then... Uh, so Mareri is going to see the, the, the destruction below and... and uh, it's going a little sideways. Knowing, knowing oh. how... Sorry. Uh, sorry, no. One thing. I want to do this before I forget. Uh, he got a 11 on his saving throw against your moonbeam. 
That does not pass. Okay, so go ahead and roll that just so I don't forget because his turn is on the same <laughs> initiative count. Okay, so he takes 3d10 of damage. All right, now if you don't mind doing what you're going to do. Yeah, sure, I'll let, you just, I'll let you resolve this. Ah, triple threes. Wow. You're a triple three. That's weird. Um, triple three at. That's only... What is that? <laughs> I was reaching there pretty hard. <laughs> it takes... Third, works, third time was a charm on that one, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Keep watching that pun notifier. I'm watching the pun indicator. People stop giving... I need to, uh, like, bake, make a small thing of just little paper balls that I can throw I'm at you going to. I'm going to... Can I spend... Is that six? I can't. I'm not wearing my glasses. You, I you want to do max damage? Yeah, I want to max damage this bitch. Max damage All is right. six. Yeah. yeah, I'm spending six to max damage, so it's going to take thirty. Nice. All right. I also would like you to roll. Uh, do you have Arcana? I do. Okay, go ahead and roll Arcana for me. Uh oh. This heals it. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God, oh Wait. What do you mean by do I have Arcana? Are you proficient in no, this? No, I'm not proficient in it. Okay, all right. Never mind then. I am. You're not. You're not involved acting in this. on the effect. No, I know. I just wanted to point oh, out. Oh wait, that. I did that wrong. What should that have been? Fourteen. I went yep. from twenty to fourteen. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys, I can't math and I can't see. <laughs> so you did thirty. It's, it's, I did it's a little 30. crazy did, all over the it's board. Thirty here. damage. Okay. Straight up. All right. I'm gonna fry this bitch. Okay. So the flames, uh, where you saw them kind of licking across it before, mm -hmm. it's like a pillar of flame erupts from underneath the creature. Does it, it smell like burnt <sighs> feathers? Yeah, a little. <laughs> so I'm wondering. And you note know that that seems to have hit it very hard. Good. I feel bad so, for it. I'm trying to kill quick guys. Yeah, I want to. I want to know. Like, I, I, cinematically, I want to cut this thing in half. I want to separate its body. Yeah. So the critical thing I want to try to do to it. So here's what I want to do. What is the roll on D10 for body? What is the number? Like for, uh, wait, would, would it be considered a torso? Yeah, uh, anywhere, there's more than one. So let me see here. It can be torso, The head is effective, abdomen. but this is, that's boring. I, I, want the, I want the audience to have a show with this. So we're gonna, we're gonna make right. it more fun. So a whole bunch of little chickens so, roll out from the inside? We'll see. <laughs> While you're looking that up, uh, I want oh, to Oh, shit. So Lime Tapestry oh. came in a minute ago with uh, two for each player. Which was awesome. Thank you. Thank and you. then Spec gave three more to uh, Brody just to get us to that record. <laughs> that is insanity. Thank you. I get to make four more encounters just like this. But, but, but why? <laughs> why are you doing this to us? Spec, someday when we meet in person. Because the audience loves right. watching you do that. Spec, someday when we meet in person, so, my right, first audience? action will be to kick you in the nuts before I hug you. <laughs> A roll between six to nine. It's between six and nine is the hit? Six and seven, eight and nine will all yield a result striking the body. On a 10, okay. Um, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'll spend 10, I'll spend that right yep. away. I'm gonna spend 10 to get that triggered critical hit. Morari helicopters his blade above his head as part of his blade song. And he does this, uh, he, his, his wings fold up. He does this upward motion and comes flying down and the wind okay. is just, it's like anime style. <laughs> Right, and he comes down with the sword, and then he spins it, and then makes it like a chopper, and goes right into the body. Then I'm gonna spend the other ten. six more inspiration to set the dice to twelve and oh. seven, and then I'll let you tell me what the effects are. My goal is to try and sever it. All right, and just for the audience, it blinks when you when you hit it on twelve. Yeah. So seven will be considered the abdomen. Is that to stay down? Maybe. There you go. Okay, so a 12 severity on an abdomen strike. Yes. Because I want to see what this chart can do. Yeah, okay, so you bring your sword down and it's kind of like a guillotine blade. You just bring it down and on a sharp oh, yeah, angle. Full body, just I'm gonna have you take some damage. One, two, three. You're dropping from 50 feet, so I'm gonna have you take 5d6 bludgeoning damage from plowing into the ground because you're blade. You're cutting right through. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna roll. roll the damage on right. it. 
But because uh, ironically, mine were all you. ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah say one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just finish rolling here. I'm gonna put this on Five the die damage, cam here wow. so people can see. I don't know. Whatever. I'll roll them there. I roll <laughs> three ones and two. Yes! 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 Thank well, you, you dice break, gods. If you want to break that perfect forty, you can roll some that of those up. dice. All right. So <laughs> no. you take a total of seven bludgeoning damage from <laughs> slamming into the ground from fifty feet you at speed with your arms I've out. I've taken more damage from my own punch. However, <laughs> as you as you slash into the creature's body, you're immediately blasted by this heat as this really? black and thick, viscous ichor splashes up in your face and across your body as your blade bisects the creature. And mechanically, the abdomen is severed, organs destroyed, victim reduced to zero hit points and severe bleeding. So if that happened to you, you'd literally be bisected Doing yeah, death yeah. saves with yeah. bleeding. I can mend you with my zipper spell. Meaning you'd probably die in two rounds. <laughs> oh, for sure. That being said, you this sever thing. the creature directly across the side. And Orla, I'm going to have you do a dex save. Uh, and Zephyrus is going to have to do an acrobatics Ooh. check. It's almost a heroic 13. inspiration, but mm. I got to keep four yeah, for my own rerolls. <laughs> so you're considered prone. Sure. Uh, you did. Obscene For the sake damage. of this, 78 damage to bring the creature to zero. Well done. Uh, 13. All right, so you tuck and roll out of the way as the creature's front just <laughs> drops across the ground. Zephyrus, what was uh, your acrobatics roll? 15. All right, so you, as the creature's falling, you kind of do a little Legolas thing, ride it down <laughs> until it's about five feet above the ground, and you just jump off and slide. You end up over here as the creature just... <laughs> And you see Ugh. both halves collapse to the ground, and it's just bleeding this black, thick, viscous ichor. <sighs> Where the, the fuck is that drow? I'm really going to kill that drow. I'm going to kill that drow. You are victorious. Does anyone have any orange slices? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a need for like that fast orange stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. That right. orange salt. With this. Gotta sh Sorry, go ahead. With this. Congratulations, you are all now level eight. Yay! Okay, so I've been having requests from chat the entire time to give them more details on the chickpea. Yeah, why don't you tell us what that yeah, was? What would you tell like to know? Um, uh, you know what? Right? I believe we're the gonna... origins, both uh, literal and like mythological. Yes. While okay. we're leveling, give them a show. Okay, so in a literal sense, this was a gift provided to me by my stellar partner. Missy, uh, she's probably in the chat as Madame Absinthe, or I don't know what else she goes by. Um, <laughs> I don't know. She's got screen names and stuff. This is a piece of taxidermy that was done by a wonderful friend of mine. I don't know if uh, they're in chat this evening or not. However, Pretty sure, yes. Oh, uh, hi Val. I'm 80% sure that's uh, IXU or LXU. Okay, whichever it is. awesome. So. They made this. It's awesome. I love it. It is a piece of taxidermy done out of several small... I can't tell if they're duck or chicken. They're chicks? chickens. Those they're are chickens. chicks. Yeah, those are chicks. And I don't know if you can see his cute little face. His tongue is sticking out. Aww. Anyway, I really love this. Um, now, in terms of this, I think both uh, you, the audience, for that <laughs> stunning display of... Uh, inspiration that I promise you will not go to waste. I'm going to come up with some crazy shit. I think shit they gave it to you because they know that they, we've just, you've just given us four more insane encounters. At yes. least. Yeah. I'm going oh, to come up but with you, so many good But you ones. can't also, keep giving them 40 every encounter or this entire <laughs> session <laughs> is just us in, in these gentle, well, hey, if we want to do that, oh, yeah, really. it's your, you call the shots. Yeah. We're, I had a great time. Also, yeah. I just want to say, uh, if I missed anyone, I do apologize. I think I got everybody called out. If I missed you, I am sorry. This is, I have never seen anything like this. This is incredible. Okay, so a bit of background on the creature itself. So in terms of our story here, uh, this is a biological weapon crafted by House Alvrindar of the Drow. Um, Rizeril, the wizard who brought you here, this was just one of their failed weaponry experiments. That was failed? This was failed. Uh, this was considered an impure and 
unworthy subject to continue. Um, so uh, House Avrindar is doing some crazy stuff behind the scenes here. If you'll remember from our story, uh, I believe it was two weeks ago now, House Avrindar <coughs> is the drought faction that has been working their way into the slave auction that's been happening through the bazaar, and these are the people that jumped up the prices. Oh, these are, this is the house that's doing this. Yes. These people have brought up the price on the trade of uh, the specimens, as they're called. Um, this is kind of dipping the toe into what uh, these drow are coming up with. Uh, are there any specific questions about the creatures, like abilities or anything like that? Or uh, I can fly uh, now. Assume that there are. That's assume that there are, and tell us about them. Okay. All right. Oh, so no. this creature uh, is an aberration. Obviously, uh, <laughs> it had. Um, yeah. It. Uh, I, I'm not sure what to tell what you really outside of just listening. Well, it is a legendary creature, um, meaning it was specifically created to be a counter infantry unit. It was meant to be able to react and just do as much devastation as possible. Um, it now this mechanic never came up, although I tried. Uh, similar to there's a creature in D and D called a bay here which is basically a several-footed lizard kind of thing, like dragony lizard. Anyway, these creatures, when they swallow creatures, this chickapede here can hold two up to large size creatures. And while they're stored within, they take 66 acid damage per round. Oh, I saw oh, until they, they can escape. One of us yeah, if I'd been, been swallowed, I would have been fucked. Yeah, that would have been the end Probably, of it would have been bad. Yep. Um, How are we living this long, friends? I uh, <laughs> probably about the 100 combined inspiration spent. Yeah, and the inspiration uh, train, which thank you. Yeah. yeah, we can't thank you enough for that. This is incredible. We have never had this amount of uh, uh, generosity shown on at least this, this stream. So thank you so much. We oh, really yeah. appreciate it. Um, in terms of actual story progression, um, we're going to say that the session ends here in the aftermath of this battle. And just before we close for the evening, you will see that Rizeril has returned. Sounds well, good for me. Can I punch him in the nuts before we close? I'm immediately going to throw a thing at him. Go ahead and roll an attack roll. <laughs> and then what leaves. are you throwing? One of my daggers. Okay. No, your knitting needle. Knitting needle. My apologies. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a 25 to hit. Okay. <laughs> the dagger soars through the air and strikes him right in the shoulder. He's like, Argh. How much damage did you roll? Well, does assassinate count? <laughs> he wasn't expecting it. Assassinate, you have advantage. Actually, if, if, if you're going to allow me to do assassinate, I have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat and any hit you score against the creature that is surprised is a critical hit. Yes. AKA, don't piss off, grand. Okay, go ahead wow. and roll damage. <laughs> okay. I need your advice, sir. Sure. Thank you. I just gotta see if this SOB lives. This is hilarious, <laughs> by the way. Scocked. Ooh, that's nice that it was. Uh, so that was a one second here. Well, next week's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, how are we going to get out of here if Grant kills him now? Yeah, was, I, <laughs> yeah if uh, not you... not thinking, she is reacting. No shit. Just, uh, just make sure you desecrate the corpse. Yep. Oh, I will. Big time. Just teabag it a lot. Oh, she's, she's bagging it. With those dice, it bags quite a bit. 11, 12. Oh, boy. And also, uh, since you haven't gone to combat music yet, I'm assuming that this is going to be a... a but uh, I think the viewers would like to hear a little bit about how you guys leveled before we um, wrap it up. But we'll, we'll wrap up the, the attack first, and then if you want to give a, a quick overview of what you did. Oh, yeah, I need to There's a, That I would be 32 damage. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Most impressive. With a knitting needle. That, that's Granted, a... I didn't actually use max damage, so that could have been, that could have been more rough. Yeah. <sighs> I thought he was a prick. Turns out she's the prick. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately. Did that 
Like Sorry. Uh, He's going to needle some healing potions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> When the DM was not prepared for you to attack, then he's yeah, sorry. Hey, I told you, I hey, said you know I was what? going to kill him. That is fine. Let's see his stat block. Oh. Okay. So, his armor was not high enough that shield would have helped. So, it just strikes him uh, dead center in the chest. Can we collect a bounty on him? Memorari. Uh... And with 25 to hit, I need you to roll. Uh, severity. <laughs> said it. I already said it struck him in the chest, so we'll just go with severity. Uh, oh, five. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this was not It's a very planned. grand thing to do. Yeah. It's very. It was very grand. Place. I think it's well-deserved. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep, but when you kill this guy, you guys are stuck here. I mean, and that, it came down a tunnel. Well, he might not be dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Okay. You can check for trapdoors at the top. Yeah. I need you to roll an additional d6 plus one for bleeding. Oh my god. That's two more. <laughs> so it's hey. 34 total. All right. <laughs> All right. So he so lets the dagger go in. <laughs> as the dagger strikes right in the middle of his sternum. I'll watch Grant. Just <laughs> sinks right up to almost the knob at the end. I was gonna say the hilt, but it's a it's a knitting needle. It's a so knitting it's, needle. All right, so it sinks most of the way into his torso. He grunts, <sighs> throws it on the ground. You did say to trust us, and you <sighs> sent us into our near death. If she kills you, I can't stop this from happening. I can heal you, but you're a dick. <laughs> what she said, and <sighs> that's what she said. <laughs> it is what I said. I can't exactly. say I didn't deserve that. No now, shit. why would you do that to us? I have a second needle, too. Because I need you to understand how severe this situation is. We could have been dead, and then how would we have understood such a yeah, thing? Yeah, how would we have helped you then, dumbass? If you were dead, you could not have helped me. Well, no shit, because we'd be dead. My wings are covered in tar. Which means <laughs> that had you fallen against one of their lesser abominations, it would be of no help to me anyway. Oh. Bitch, 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 bitch. Stretches his arm, and as you watch what's like a very solid gushing of blood, a few moments later you see it's a little less. <sighs> All right, this is not the place to have this conversation. This is far too close to Lavalia's territory for me to be. Who's? Avalia. This is far too close to her territory for me to be lingering longer than necessary. Come with me. The last time you said that, we ended up having to fight half a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I swear this will be much more comfortable than our... Complete with the mutations. <laughs> <laughs> with a blinding flash of light, you feel yourself tugged from somewhere beneath your sternum. You feel your torso pulled forward towards... Um, Rosero. Huh? And a few moments later, you find yourself in the warmth and relative comfort of his chambers. How close is he to me now? <laughs> he is probably about 10 feet away. I'll stride towards him and just punch him in the face this time. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. So 16. What I'm, so what I'm getting is... <laughs> shield. Grand's mad. As you come close, as your fist is traveling through the air, you notice a fine layer of shimmering magic go over his form and your fist stops like millimeters from his face. Then I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> A little Bruce Lee for you? Yep. And with that, we're going to end the end session there. Well, there we go. We're going to end a little early tonight. Uh, uh, it's... Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, half hour. But, oh. but that's okay because I actually want to go and see the rest of the hockey game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know why I had it in my head. We had to end by nine. No. no. Uh, so can we, do you guys want to give a quick... Yeah. Uh, no, it's good. This is fine. We can end a little yeah, bit early Yeah, this is tonight. good, actually. Uh, I, I'm imagining people would like to know what you leveled up with. Uh, so I know that I get a feat at this level, and I'm actually kind of glad that I don't have to rush and pick it right now because I'm, I'm, I really take my feats... Seriously, on what I can do, I'm leaning toward taking 
uh, one of the feats that allows me to take, it allows me to get a, sup a superiority die like a fighter would. And you can gain two of the martial prowess things. Uh, shoving and stuff like that is one of them. And I'd love to be able to fly around and shove people off cliffs and things. Oh. So I got ideas. I think, I think what I'm going to aim toward is I'm going to aim towards something that's more uh, utility with my fighting. I've learned, as we've seen in the last four games, that with uh, Bladesong in, uh, in combat, um, I don't get hit as much, so I could be a little more of a frontline fighter. The only thing is, uh, I, you know, the most strategic thing to do would be for me to enhance my intelligence by two and, mm. uh, and make my EC even higher, but that's kind of boring, you know. Mm. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but that's, that's my aim. I do get another fourth level spell, so look for something crazy there. Um, what are you doing? Do you know? You get to fly now. Yeah, so I can fly now, which is super freaking cool. Uh, I'm still, I can still only be animals that are a challenge rating of two or less because I'm Circle of the Moon. But In that's... terms of beasts, though, uh, that's a fairly high... It is, but I can't turn into a mammoth yet. I'm working on it. No, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. But not so... yet, but soon. <laughs> but, but soon. But So now I can fly, which is cool. So I could turn into a giant eagle, per se. Um, I also can up an ability by two, which I'm tempted to make my intelligence because I have a minus one to my intelligence mm. right now. That That's one of your most of endearing qualities. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but that only puts me that at a one. So it's not even like, it's not a big plus It'll or anything like that. It puts you to like zero. That. Yeah, it would put me, actually that's true. It put me to zero. So it's not even a plus on anything. It just means that I don't have a minus to it anymore. Uh, um, I now have 47 hit points, so everybody cool. can rejoice. Woo! is still squishy as fuck though. And um, I get a, another fourth level spell slot, which will help with Moonbeam, because now I can cast Moonbeam twice at fourth level, which yeah. is bitchin'. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly, actually. Uh, yeah, it is pretty gnarly. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm still figuring out some of the specifics, but that's the general overview. I will uh, remind. Sorry. By Adrian. the way, uh, you got one more inspiration that uh, I kind of lost track of there at the end when you stopped being a bear. That was from uh, Vagrants, I think, a long time ago. Oh, really? It was Thank a trap you. a long time ago. I think uh, <laughs> they were expecting you to go unconscious during the fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. It's another inspiration. That's some uh, solid I planning. I was thinking of taking banishment. That'd be a good spell. Yeah. Just like, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Banishment's a good one. I was also thinking about, uh, I could take uh, Dimension Door and then I could literally just like appear all over the place. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Portals. I thinking don't know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Maybe I'll read an article about the, uh, some, oh. some spells at that level. Yeah. Arcane also, Eye. One of the things that I'm going to come up with, because Brody reminded me this after the last time I was here, so the game before last, yeah. I never actually picked a god as a druid. I had no freaking clue that I even needed a god. Never even thought of it, so I'm gonna be picking a god. Sometime I'll uh, in the near I'll chat future. with you about that in Discord, and we can. Remember that thing where I don't remember any of my backstory? Yeah, That's yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. apply to the god too. So. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Viewership was really cool tonight. Um, a lot of new people chatting, a lot of new people subbing and throwing bits. That's uh, even today on True Talk, it was epic to see. So you guys, your support of the channel actually means a lot for us going into this next phase. True. Um, yeah, and we've what been doing this for a while now. So. Yeah, what are you what are you doing with your uh, new abilities? Uh, so not a whole lot. My HP went up to seventy one. You get thirty eight. You get thirty eight attacks now, right? <laughs> not quite. Seventy one. Yeah. What? Um, like half of your points. Yeah, I'm being boring and then raising my wisdom to increase my key my key save DC <laughs> to fifteen. It's not boring. Nice. That's gonna be brutal. But yeah, Freaking that's that's, stunning strike. that's about oh. it. That's still plenty. And yeah. Gran, what fun stuff are you doing? Um, or do you not know yet? I don't fully know yet. I'm going to choose a feat. Kind of yeah, looking. You're like me. You like the feats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I enough. like my feats. I'm a feat well, person. Well, you, you can update us yeah, next week. That's fine. Uh, I'm looking at either crossbow, expert. What else was I looking here? Oh, when you teleported out, Gran, you died. You had thrown away your crossbow. Oh, and your no. knitting needle that you had thrown, Rizzerol had brought it out of his chest and dropped it on the ground. That fucker. Oh. We're going to have to go back to oh. the bazaar and buy He's going to get shit. more than a punch <laughs> next time. Well, we can go back to the bazaar. That's buy what we'll you do. That really sweet yeah. bone. Yeah. Yeah. Grant, yeah. Grant, but my knitting needle. Grant, oh. do you need a knitting needle to throw at Brody right now? I kind of want to. Hey, you know what? <laughs> this is what happens when you try and one shot my NPCs out of nowhere. <laughs> well, not out of nowhere. He totally. He How totally close did I get? Pretty close. He had 40 <laughs> hit points. 
Sick. Oh, oh I should have. I mean, oh max my god, damaged. I should have max damaged. <laughs> wow. You guys would have been stuck really deep in enemy territory. Oh, we would have figured right. it out. Uh, cool. Well, th- thanks for letting us know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, we will wrap it up there. Uh, we'll let Tom go and watch the end of his hockey game. Uh, I mean, it's much. I don't even know what the score is right now, but uh, we'll get there in a second. It? Just thanks one more time to everybody who dropped yeah. it. Yeah, we can't right. thank you so enough. much. That was crazy. And thank you. TK and Spec, you guys dropped it. Yeah, oh, no kidding, guys. Clash, that was that was fucking clash nice. of the Titans right there. That was. Uh, and uh, and for everyone else that dropped like subscriptions and stuff and everything came to the channel, thank I know that these this dungeon master at forty inspiration is going to make Kyle super jealous. <laughs> I'm because, also terrified. And it yeah, won't all be reinforcements, I promise. It will be <laughs> some crazy, crazy things. Just you guys wait. <laughs> 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 Gotta come up with the 20 inspiration spend tier on my end. Yeah. Be like, dragon. Should we make characters at this point? Because <laughs> No, I, so what I said earlier was we're all going to make characters, but it has to be a, rel- a relation to your current character, gender flipped. So it'd be Orla's brother, Orlan, or something <laughs> dumb like that. Orlan. <laughs> Orlan. 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 It's going to be Orlan, and uh, he's going to be a gnome barbarian. Or Instead of Mirari, it'll be... It'll be Mary? Just Mary? Mary Airy? <laughs> Mary Airy! Stop it! Mary Airy? Mary Airy, the... Mary Airy. The, the Airy. flying elf? Mary Airy. I'll be Mary yeah. Airy. Mary Airy, the aerial elf. <laughs> Holy Fuck shit. Me. I'd oh be God. that. I'd be fine. Who's, who's Grant's brother, grandson? Uh, Grant has a lot of family. Grand's oldest sure balls. Grand probably has a husband someplace. And you can just stick his name. Oh thing. my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that, that doesn't really have a gender. Because what's the opposite of they? They. Yeah. <laughs> they. Sick. I see you be Zephyr, Zephyr Russ instead of Zephyr S. <laughs> Zephyr Russ. Zephyrus. Zephyri. All right, with that, <laughs> yes, we'll see you, you very much. Sorry Tomorrow for the night, early Shadow ending Run. here. I was so convinced it was not. I don't You're know okay. why. I was like, oh, I gotta finish. It my was night. a good. It's, it's a good point. Good I'm sure they don't want to watch us shopping and all whatever else we're gonna be doing. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night for Shadow Run, 7 p.m. Dead Eye Dan will be here. And I believe you are making the appearance. So you're going to see yeah. Brody get the chance to sit in the player seat again and watch Dan run him through the gamut of hell. Yeah, we'll Thanks see how that's going to go. <laughs> good night, everyone. Have a good Thanks night. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.